Ja, det är bara att köra. I'm, I'm switching. Switching to the English, okej. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, I'm not feeling the energy. What are we doing? What energy? What are we, ta- what? What are we doing? <laughs> okay, fuck it. Let's just dive in. Yeah, let's dive. Okay, let's dive. <laughs> let's all dive together. <laughs> okay, so welcome back to another episode of the Sketchbook Heroes podcast with me, Ilias. Me, Robert. And... Ati Gailan. ba 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 Wow, that was uh, the yeah. worst. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody loves it. <laughs> yes, I will be abusing these buttons today. So that's why I'm here. Exactly. And yeah, today we have a guest. And we're just going to put all the focus on you. Okay. So Excited to be here. You shouldn't be. You should be terrified. <laughs> Have you heard the show? <laughs> That's why he's excited. <laughs> he has not. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. No, it's going to be a good one. Mm-hmm. But uh, before we dive into that, how are you doing, man? It is upside down. Ooh. Yeah, that's my life. Yeah. Uh, so I'm living an episode of uh, Stranger Things. <laughs> but without Fantastic. the monsters and the cool stuff and the retro and just misery <laughs> awesome sauce but we'll cover that in another episode of the Sketchbook Heroes podcast because <laughs> I'm not ready to talk about it on the show no. just yet okay good so how are you dude I am uh, super tired uh, living new daddy life and all all that happy stuff <laughs> I see the shirt new yeah. daddy life <laughs> 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 I should make that shirt. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, just so so tired and uh, so so tired. Felt you know where where is the happiness and uh, what what is life about? I don't know. And then I just hear screaming baby. Very so cool. But it's, that's it's great. The early years. That's it's fantastic. <laughs> Everybody it gets better. <laughs> and who our beautiful guest? How are you, dude? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I know what you went through with the screaming baby. So uh-huh. Yeah. I can't relate. <laughs> <laughs> but that's always good. Like, everybody here can relate to mm, yeah. this. <laughs> so yeah. that feels good. But, I have uh, two of them, dude. Yeah. <laughs> so two been- dude, when I finally got to sleep, the other one came and was like, ah! you're like, oh, my God, another three years of this. <laughs> <laughs> but have you guys Just been the- talking about a second one? Or do you have? Or Yeah. He never goes home. Yeah, <laughs> he, just, <laughs> he never goes. See, on. that's the, so you don't have that conversation. Yeah, that's the trick, <laughs> because yeah, obviously, uh, wifey wants another one as well because she wants you know them to have each other when they grow up and all yeah. that. Double dragon. That's not what she. Dude, I'm not ready. I'm not ready for another one of these. Yeah, your body needs to rest. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm still, yeah. I'm still healing. <laughs> no, but like seriously. Three weeks in, it's too soon to think about. Is it though another baby? Yeah, your wife is fast though on that one. Oh yeah, like because my wife said the first year she was like never again, <laughs> never again, and then like a year later she was like we need another one. And yeah, then it took. Yeah, we'll see uh, like how long it it takes for me to come around. But she's, it's not that she's ready to have another baby no, no, now, but not. she just wants uh, our happen. daughter to have a sibling. Yeah, but. Yeah, no. A dog. No. no just, yeah. <laughs> I was like, let's just get another hamster. Yeah. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah. This is your brother now. Go, pl- go play. Stuart Little, or whatever the fuck that movie was called. <laughs> Stuart Little. Awesome. So, dude, how has you, how blah, 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 has your week been? Yeah. Dude? It's been good. It's been good. Um, it's always busy week, especially like end of the year. It's like it starts a bit calm and it keeps mm-hmm. building and building and building. And it's like... All the companies be like, shit, we need this before we Christmas. need this. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So this is like the, the we're reaching the peak. OK. Yeah. yeah. But is this the, the time where everybody is realizing that? Like, is this is October that month where they're like, fuck, we need this before end yeah. of year. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. It's, it's starting. It's not all of them are real. Oh, <laughs> okay, so, so it's not yeah. all there. Yeah. Yet. It's yeah. real time. Yeah. Like everyone's just like, fuck, fuck. Yeah. yeah we need this yeah. for Christmas. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. 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 
fantastic. Now, this is where the prices should go up, you know, like during the <laughs> Oh, <year>. yeah. Because <laughs> I, I was talking to a friend yesterday, and I should, I shouldn't put it there. Uh, and, and I was joking, like, every year between end of September to November, it's always chaos. Yep. Like, yep. it's always chaos. Like... In everything. In everything, yeah. Uh, and I always say that I should skip Inktober because I know shit will happen. Because it's like, that's when all the freelance comes in. It's when Inktober is. It's when work kind of ramps up, like yeah. the game project. And life. Yep. Yeah. Like kids have activities and shit. And all Christmas. The time. And, and Christmas. All everything is coming to be, up. Yeah. And I'm just thinking like, maybe during that part of the year, I should go so expensive that I feel... Like Donald Trump, you know, like, like an <laughs> asshole. Like, just get to that level because... Grab it by the wallet. Yeah, yeah. grab it by the wallet. Okay, very nice. <laughs> but it's just like, those months are insane. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Every fucking year, I'm like, oh, next year, I'll plan it and I'll do... But no, yeah. it's yeah. the same. So we yeah, should we raise our prices during that mo those months. Yeah. Yeah. But I also want to work. Um, so... Like if I raise my prices, I will be doing the. Uh -huh. That's your wallet, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the sound of my that's, wallet. <laughs> that's me dancing in the street for money, <laughs> because I I went Do that. <laughs> 200 <laughs> crowns more an hour. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 please. Yeah. And then I'll be back in advertisement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone yeah. has good experience yeah. in yeah. advertising. But yeah, no. Um, mm -hmm. Cool. Cool talk. Let's uh, good. let's just do the intro for okay. fuck's sake. That's what everybody's waiting for. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Here it comes. The song everybody's been waiting for. for a <laughs> not that one. Nope. No, okay, Definitely it. not. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> Artists of the world unite. Step out of your comfort zone into the danger zone. Yeah, we're back. we're back. Yeah, we're back. Yeah. <laughs> we're back. <laughs> All right. So we have Ati here with us. Yep. And dude, tell us a bit about yourself. Why are you so awesome? <laughs> <laughs> Serving yeah. it up. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, I'm excited to be here to uh, talk to you guys. I think the, um, you know, I've been working in the games for like 10 years. Um, moved back to Sweden about two years ago. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was living abroad for a while and, uh, you know, um, working as a concept artist illustrator, it's super cool to be part of a podcast like this. Uh, I was working at Riot before I moved back. Uh, the pandemic sort of hit. Uh, everything went to chaos. Mm -hmm. uh, and like... LA, if you know, it's a fantastic city, but if you're just sitting indoors, it's way too expensive. Yeah. You know? um, okay. So moved back um, and decided to open up an outdoor studio. Uh, I think we're the first one in Sweden with just focus on 2D. Dude, uh, you're the only one I know of. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. insane. Yeah, and it's super risky, but we'll get into that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, we started end of November. Uh, today we are 70 people. Mm -hmm. We're approaching our two-year anniversary, which is really exciting. Very awesome. cool. Yeah. But before we dive into that, like, what got you started with art? Like, why did you pursue art? Because we know you're from the same place as our good friend Matthias, Norland, right? Yes. Yep. The yeah. North. So, so there's nothing in Norland. We all know this. It's like snow scooters and nice vistas. And Hermann Hedning. And yeah. <laughs> but how did you, yeah, what kind of inspired you? What gave you that spark, the kick in the ass to pursue what you're doing today? I think for me, it's like, you know, growing up in the North, you didn't have much to do other mm. than play games. Uh, so, like, I think everybody, you know, played a, played a lot of games, you know. You play a little bit of hockey, but mostly games. And you sort of, sort of reached that point where, like, 
all right, I got to do something in life, you know. So I decided to pursue uh, law. Uh, my, oh. si- my sister was working in that field, um, and there was a course that I took. Uh, and, you know, it was the time I think we all go through these phases where you, you're you testing things, yeah. you know, to see what you're interested in. Really not my thing. Uh, <laughs> Licking uh, batteries, going to law school, yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> the things you try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it all sucks. No. I, I started during during that, uh, during those classes. It's like I just started doodling, you know. Like, you know, phone doodles, nothing Dude. nothing good. Just all of school. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's all so, the time. So relaxing. Mm-hmm. ADHD. Yeah. Yeah. Also, <laughs> yeah, also a diagnosis. <laughs> but it was just like, it was fun. You know, and I was like, is there a way you can do this for a living? Um, and that started like the the journey, because think about, if you think back, like this is like 2010, mm-hmm. like now you have so much information of so like, much, yeah. how do you draw for a living? Mm-hmm. All the jobs, you know, I feel like it's much more open, but go back like 12 years, it, it, no way. Like yeah. you, you really had to like know to understand that it was a job. So it's, the first step was like, all right, I like doodling on paper. I don't know how to draw, but I just like, you know, the, the motion mm-hmm. uh, and seeing things appear. And it's like, is there a way to do this for a living, basically? Um, but did you draw like before that? No, I mean, you, you had like art classes in school. Of course, yeah, but that uh, doesn't count no, if you no. don't like do it before or after, you know, like. No, no. Yeah. So how old were you roughly at that time then? I think I was just turning 20. Holy uh, shit. Yeah. Okay, I'm out. A, yeah. I quit. Let's That's, just end the podcast yeah. right here. I don't want to hear the rest of this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, always forget which color is the right one. <laughs> That's, that, not the That's the one. one. Yeah. <laughs> we pressed all the buttons. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But holy shit, man. So you kind of discovered art when you were around 20. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Um, and then it's like... So I impressive. I didn't know it was like... You could draw for games then. Mm. It's just like, hey, you drawing is fun. How do you get better at it? Is there a way that I can do this every day? That mm. was it, you know? Cool. Um, uh, and I started digging in a lot more. You know, I think it's the thing that's like when you, when you see something that you want, you start obsessing about it mm. and you start getting answers on it. Like you yeah. start actively like hunting for it and you start seeing more like a, I think this. Uh, picking up the trail essentially. yeah, yeah. Um, because if you're not consciously searching for it it's probably going to be hard to find yeah you know? of course uh, yeah I think with most creative people uh, you guys know this as well but it's like once you start thinking that way and seeing that way everything changes everything mm-hmm. changes yeah. yeah it's like where you just see it everywhere all of yeah. a sudden you like, see contrast everywhere yeah. you see outfit designs yeah. you know you see color slide it's like you see the world differently yeah, yeah. You know? The veil gets pulled back. Yeah. yeah. Like, Dude, when I started seeing... New world. But you know, like, <laughs> when I started seeing, like, sky blue in shadows, I was like, what? There's blue <laughs> in shadow? Everywhere. Yeah. It's everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Your mind was like... I think I read, like, James Gurney or something. Like, <laughs> my mind just like... <laughs> yeah. Just started seeing it everywhere. I was like, what? why haven't I thought that the sky reflects blue on stuff. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. what? You start talking to people who see, yeah. like, the fill light on their face when yeah, they're in the shadow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, oh, I should do that when I paint. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, I still don't. <laughs> it's too lazy. And then, no, but, but then it takes, like, forever to kind of, like, put put it into practice as well because yeah, yeah, that's yeah. another thing you need to invest time in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, you know, after that, like... I sort of found that, yeah, I still didn't know you could draw for games. Uh, but I, I, through acquaintance, I found that like um, there was an internship at a commercial agency in mm-hmm. Stockholm uh, as like um, office assistant. Uh, the goal with that is like they give you a chance to expose to everything within commercials, like, mm-hmm. but they try to target it towards the things you're interested in. Okay, you know? cool. Mm-hmm. So like, obviously you go like, you prepare coffee, you meet clients, you buy fruit, all that's all the yeah, fun yeah, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all the things that kill you inside. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but uh, they also try to give you some stuff that are linked to like, you know, I was, I liked Photoshop. Mm-hmm. So they try to give you some stuff tied to that. Um, Very cool. And at the time I was like, oh cool, they, you know, commercial, aid, commercial, they, probably need you to draw you mm-hmm. know not that much no, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, so i sort of but 
during that period, you know, I moved to Stockholm for the first time. Um, it was just as hard finding a place to live back then. Yeah, it is today. It's always been. <laughs> it, it, yeah, nothing changes really. Like no. it's just a it's different just, kind of complicated. It's just, just so much more people now mm. than back then. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's crazy. It still sucks. Uh, <laughs> It, it blows my mind how difficult it is, mm -hmm. dude. Especially, yes, especially like for people coming abroad. Like I can't even imagine. Like the if you don't get help from the company yeah, you're starting you're fucked, with, man. then it's complicated. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be like third hand rentals. And you know you what know. the best thing is? You Maybe. pay like crazy Twice amounts yes. for like uh, like closets, yeah. basically like a, a glorified yeah no. a glorified shoebox. Yeah, yeah, it, it's it's insane. Um, but like during that year, like, or, you know, mm. early when I moved, I was like, oh, you can draw for games. That's like, that was like the North star of like, <laughs> I see it. You mm. know, I see where I want to go. I'm not even close to it, you know? Um, and prior to that, like I had applied to so many places. No one replied, you know, I was like, come on, the work isn't that bad, you know, yeah. <laughs> but it was awful. It was awful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We've talked about that so many yeah. times. Like, why didn't I get the job or why didn't they? It's and all relative. Yeah. And friend. then you look at it later and you're like, <laughs> oh, I that's totally right. get oh, what yeah. they didn't yeah. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we all know. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But now that only takes a week for me to see. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy about that. Yeah, the time is less. But by it's, that time, I've already tattooed it. So, you know. It's <laughs> <laughs> and you're welcome. Thanks for the money. Uh, hey. <laughs> Very nice. The only time the sound effect, like, actually matched yes. the joke. Yeah. I think um, I laughed over it, though. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll go easy on the buttons now. Sorry. Um, but yeah. yeah, you know, I, I realized, okay, <laughs> no one replied. Uh, the work isn't good enough. Mm. Uh, but if I can good, get good enough, I might get a job. Mm. Um, and then, like, I sort of I sort of put during that year, because I had a one-year contract with the internship mm. uh, with the office assistant. I was like, all right, this year, you know, I was, I, was, I was living on my own. I was young, you know, like, I had no partner or anything. I was like, I'm going to give it everything I got, you know, like... Um, and I think part of that mentality stuck with me yeah. uh, f for better or for worse. It's like everything or nothing, you know? Um, and I went in with it with like every single hour I could draw, I drew like I would, um, I think the first six months I slept four to five, maybe six hours on good days, <laughs> every, every single day. Uh, and just drawing on the metro, drawing on the subway, drawing on the train, uh, drawing at work before work started, uh, and drawing when you come home. Um, and I think one of the best things that happened to me, I had such terrible internet. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I think that helped a lot. Yeah, yeah. It keeps you focused. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have this USB stick. I don't know if they even exist anymore. I had five gigabytes per month. Wow. Yeah. Nice. All, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah it's yeah. all I, I can afford, yeah. you know? I had, yeah, I had the same thing when yeah, I, I moved to, when I moved to Germany. On, on your walk yeah. yeah, right? I had, I needed it. Uh, it was the worst thing ever. <laughs> Yeah, it's Once you hassle. got it working, yeah. it was yeah. already empty. <laughs> yeah. Like one YouTube video is like a, yeah. a fifth of it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You're like <laughs> just getting into it and yeah. then like, boop. Yeah. 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 When you get to the part you actually want to see, it's like, yeah. yeah. Like, Motherfucker. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it was awesome. Yeah. Because like I could not get distracted, you know? Yeah. Mm. I was just sitting in front of a computer, like the only, that was like my, my secret. It's like if I need references, I can use it, you know? Yeah. 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 Or just Skype call anything, but beyond that, it's like it would just run out quickly. Um, so I got a lot of focus time, which was great. Mm. Can I ask you something? What kind of specific things? Because this is, I think, the, the hardest part for artists starting off. And you started pretty late, but you got really fucking good. And you have some very impressive sort of work under your belt. And what kind of stuff did you focus on and why? did you focus on those specific things? Because you're, I, I would say you're a very well-rounded artist, you know, mm -hmm. from backgrounds to characters, like you're doing them both very well. I would say it, it is super overwhelming if you try to do everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's like, um, at the time, uh, I, I, I remember watching those a tutorial where someone said like you need to pick you know mm -hmm. like obviously it depends what company you go into it's yeah, like yeah. bigger company can have you really specialize mm -hmm. smaller companies can't afford it you got to do everything yeah. you yeah. know um, but I knew that all right you know if if someone because the portfolio is is, is you 
you know, it's like it, it communicates with someone when they're looking at it of mm. who you are and what you can do, you know. Uh, so I try to focus heavily on a subject matter I like, which is environment mm. painting, you know. And that was like, I'll put most of my effort here. Uh, I'll put a little bit of effort on like vehicle, some character work, but mm. definitely to show that I can do it. But environments were my strength is at. Uh, and that was like my focus that year, you know, okay. to like just do as good environment as I could. Um, and uh, it, it sort of worked in the end. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome, dude. So when when you finally started working for a game, was it as a background artist straight off the bat? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Not slavery first and then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like, I think my first gig, it was, it was so funny, like, because... Once I got hired, I moved to UK to work for Outsource Studio. Mm. Oh, cool. Um, <coughs> but I had applied to a Swedish company uh, to do, that was like in Umeå, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and when I got to this uh, uh, studio in England, they were working with that Swedish studio. <laughs> I was doing the backgrounds for them, you know? So, <laughs> so you kind of did work for both. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, it was uh, doing backgrounds. You know, I did a little bit of like uh, storyboarding, a little bit of character work, mm. but primarily background. Sweet. Yep. And just going from there then, let's continue the story. So what happened after, like how long were you in uh, in London for? Or was it London? No, it's the northern part of the UK. Okay. Uh, and um, I'm, so I moved there like, oh, I think it was 2012. Mm -hmm. um, and... The I, year. Yeah. yeah. The year the where year it all, all happened. happened. Yeah. For all of us. <laughs> for all of us. Yeah. Yeah. Where everybody got hired. Yeah. yeah. The year. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, um, you know, I was sort of like stuck in this routine where I like, I was coming super early to work, you know? Yeah. Like, uh, and I was, I was first one to come in and last one to leave. You know? Jet lag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I Jet even lead. got the key to the office to, to just like, uh, you know, because I was there before everybody. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, I, you know, kind of, you know, like working there, f the first few months, I sort of realized like, I have very high goals and ambitions for myself. Yeah. And this place, was definitely like n not gonna get me to the things that I wanted to go. Yeah. So I thought, all right, this one year I'm gonna max it, see see what happens. Um, and uh, you know, after a year, some things happened, you know, and I felt like this was definitely not the place to spend additional year on. One year was fantastic, had amazing coworkers, learned a lot, got exposed to a lot, but to keep moving towards my goal, I had to sort of take the next step. What was your your goal? Just to 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 see your yeah, north, was, yeah, north exactly. star. Well, yeah, what exactly. was to become the best artist I possibly can be? Okay, okay cool. Yeah, uh, so intrinsic, like a, a thing for you, basically. Yeah. And then yeah, it's like to um, one thing I've always been adamant of is making sure I don't feel comfortable and challenging myself. Like it is so easy to. Especially like when you have a job, you mm -hmm. know, like I'm just going to do this thing, you know, it, yeah. it pays the yeah. bills. But Hamster like, can I ask you something, though, yeah. in regards to that? That's something I see now. But back then I was an idiot, you know, yeah. like I, I, I wanted to get better. Yeah. But I didn't put myself in those like situations as I do now. Like I'll, I'll do stuff that I'm not good at and then try to figure it out. Because that's basically what they're paying me for, you know, yeah. and you can sort of use your work time to learn things, you know. Yeah. Uh, but how did you sort of like get to that mentality back then, you know, because nobody wants to do a bad job, you know. Yeah. Like, oh, sorry. No, no, no. That yeah. was it. Yeah. I, I don't know. I just think like I, I sort of have this weird idea of trying to become the complete artist mm -hmm. where there is no artistic obstacle for you mm -hmm. to be able to fully envision everything and tackle it in any possible way, you know? Uh, and it's very difficult. There's so much Dude, to I was going to say, yeah. it's an impossible mission. Yeah, it's, it's uh, something yeah. we've been talking about forever, but it's like you're running towards a goalpost that's constantly moving. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. It's, it's just, you're chasing. But you know what the best the thing. thing about it is yeah. though? That you're running towards that like goal. And then when you get there, 
you're like, oh, this isn't good enough, and you kick it away. So it's basically, <laughs> like, you're chasing a yeah, ball, basically. Yeah, yeah. And when you get to it, you're like, nah, this isn't good enough, and you kick it further, and then you run after it again. Or it's not yeah. actually the goal. Oh, that's the goal. Yeah. 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 Um, so, like, that was, like, the, the motivator to try mm -hmm. uh, and pursue something different. So what was the different? Mm -hmm. uh, so one thing working in the UK, I realized, like, you know, I was uh, – tunnel vision in some project maybe I wasn't too excited about. Mm. Um, and I think for artists, it is so important you enjoy what you work on. Yes. Like if you, it's so much more than just drawing, you know? Like, yeah. uh, I think artists are very emotional, you know? Mm -hmm. If you're excited, you'll show in the work. Dude, it's damaged, yes. is what it's called. Damaged. <laughs> <laughs> emotional damage. Yes. <laughs> if you don't like it, yeah. it's also very clear. Yeah, yeah. dude, very oh, yeah. much, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, I, I sort of realized that, um, you know, like it wasn't, I wasn't enjoying it too much. I, I remember this particular listener, I can't say which company. No, 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 it's fine. Just uh, I got like, I did this image and they returned with like an A4 of feedback. Mm. Um, that like, sounds like my freelance life back <laughs> in the day. Like, oh no, I'm good. You know? <laughs> uh, yeah, so, pass. Yeah. <laughs> It wasn't even a project I was excited about. So yeah. like dealing with all that feedback mm -hmm. was something wasn't your thing. Yeah. And like I like the idea of trying to freelance because um, I can choose who I could work with, you know? Mm -hmm. Obviously a freelance is very much linked to uh, your name as an artist. You know, if you're new mm -hmm. you don't get to choose as much, yeah. right? But you can build up to it, right? Uh, I had some offers, so I decided to leave UK and move back to Stockholm and do some freelancing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So full-time freelancing for how long then? Ooh, I think it was a year and a half or two years-ish. Mm. Dude, that's... Yeah, hats off, my friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now I can work 24-7. <laughs> yeah. Finally. <laughs> I, I've always wanted to work all the time. <laughs> it was... It was <laughs> It was a little bit like that, you know? <laughs> I know. We, I think we all... If you're lucky, it's that way. Oh, man. Because some people... Dude, yeah, I worked with Klarna. <laughs> like, I've said that before, mm -hmm. back in the day, before they got even bigger. And yeah. you know that A4 of feedback? Yeah. Motherfucker. <laughs> They were like, oh, we sent your sketches around the office oh. to a hundred people. <laughs> and this is the feedback we collected. <sighs> Boom. <laughs> like rows and rows of feedback and in bullet form, you know. So it was like a hot, like, I think it was like 80 something bullet points oh my God. of feedback. And you're like, no. <laughs> I, no, no, no. I, 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 I booked a meeting with them face to face back when you went to offices. Yeah, actually and I met was, people. Yeah, and I was like, <laughs> all this. I was like, no. Yeah. I was like, you can't <laughs> give me feedback from a hundred people. Yeah. yeah. I was like, one of you take charge because they they were three leading the same project. Jesus. And I was like, one of you have final say. Yeah. And then I talk to you. Yeah. Because I can't work like this. This is. You're only paying me twenty five thousand plus tax for this, like thing. Yeah, I can't do this. Whatever the <laughs> fuck this is, and, and 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 we did manage to kind of work it out. Like when you're honest, like clients usually respond pretty well. Like yeah. you got to teach them yeah. a bit. But that's the thing. If you're but, starting out as a but, freelancer, but you it. wouldn't know. Yeah to do that or have the no, balls but, but to that, just go to a company and like, listen guys. Yeah, but you know what? <laughs> no. Yeah, but this is just, be this is 2011. Yeah. This is just before I started King. Yeah. And, and at that point, I've been fucked with so many times that I was like, no. <laughs> like A4 or feedback from a hundred people can go to, <clears throat> yeah. And, and <laughs> I was like, no. Like, I was just like, I'm coming over tomorrow. I need to talk. Like, yeah. we cannot work like this. And and I know why it happened. Like, I wasn't clear with yeah. how I work, so they didn't know. So they were like, let's just fucking give this guy some feedback. Yeah. Uh, so so it wasn't my fault. In the end, I, I can take the blame for it, but I, I think we, we worked it out and it was nice. But 
I think that was awesome though. Yeah, like, dude, but it was the first time that I stood up. You know, when I got there, I was like so nervous. I was yeah. like, okay, I was really upset yesterday. Can I keep that energy up? You know, like that, like yeah. the, the the professionalism and yeah. kind of meet them. Just look at those bullet points again. But dude, yeah. Yeah, dude, <laughs> <yes>. <laughs> dude, the best thing is they sent me a photo of an A4. That's the, like, the feedback. That's how I got it. A photo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, the, it was back good. in the day you know what the best thing is <laughs> I worked with one of them again when I worked at King because she also worked there oh uh, fantastic yeah so that's nice. pretty cool and that's why this business is so small yeah. so you can't like be angry and treat people like shit because you're probably going to work with them again yeah <laughs> I think it's also sometimes you just like not everybody knows how to give feedback or work with creative. Yeah. Yes. So then if, as a creative, you should educate them. Yeah. Yes. If it's okay to not know, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong. Yeah. You can just like, hey, this is the workflow. We mm. want, the goal is to make the the product the best. Yeah. Right. How do we achieve that together? You know, mm. it's, a, it's, a, it's a two-way relationship. It's not one way. You know? Exactly. Yeah. Um, like you wouldn't be there without them yeah. mm. and they need you to do the thing. So yeah. it's just like, yeah. let's just work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so two years of doing that. Yep. And how did that, did you feel like you were achieving your goal or did you feel more like you were just doing the hamster wheel thing? So in the start, like, um, it was going pretty good. Like I, I, it was a little bit like when you freelance, you, you know, when people reach out, like you mm -hmm. can't control that as much. So like you just take on maybe a little bit more than you can handle. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 Yep. 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 Uh, luckily I had a friend sometimes who'd help out. I just pass on the work and we collaborate on mm -hmm. it. Oh, nice. Um, and you know, but he, did you have your own company then as well? Like, did you have it? No, no you just went fucking yeah. crazy. Okay. I thought of it, but okay. uh, it, I actually threw the idea with a, a, a close friend I have, mm. but uh, we didn't quite pull the trigger on it back then. Mm. Uh, I think it was for the better. Like, I don't think I was ready at all. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, I, I think, you know, uh, you need to learn a lot to make sure to build something mm. like, no, that but, you can be proud of. Yeah, of course. But I was thinking as well, like, you know, when I started my first business, like the first time I started, it was just me. Yeah. You know, it was like in Huil Firma, as we call it here, which is like a like the most personal way to start a company and the worst one. Uh, <laughs> but I didn't know that. I didn't know it's anything. It's not bad. It's great. No, I actually love it. No, but, but the reason I don't like it is because it gets mixed in with your private, like, like econ economy, you know, like yeah, your house, yeah. everything you own becomes a part of your company. Yeah. So if you mess up or fail in your business endeavors, they can grab all your shit. And that is what I don't like about it. That's why I say it's the worst. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so I, I, I put that to rest after a couple of years and then started a, like a LLC, I guess is the American equivalent, albeit in Swedish. And yep. that was the best thing. Yeah. And all those failures and all that misery that I had in my first attempt was so easy. Yep. I feel like a fucking professional now. Yeah. And it's only <laughs> me and, you know, my accountant that I use. And I, it feels like I know what I'm doing, but all I'm doing is, is giving it to them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which is all you Which need. Which is all you That's need. That's all yeah. you need to do. I didn't know this the first time, though. Like, I made it so difficult. I was like, I'm going to do everything myself. Like, do you know math? I was like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> do you know tax systems? I was like, nope. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> stuff like that. I, I think as a creative, you don't want to deal with that. No, you know, none of no, it. None anxiety, of it. Anxiety, all of it. I, I mm. realized, like... Um, uh, after freelancing that you mm. had to pay Arbeti and Yeah, bro. <laughs> not fun, you know, like especially when you weren't making good money. It's like... Yep. <sighs> well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, I get you. I get you. It's yeah. terrible. It's like, oh, I get none of the money? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I get like nickels and dimes. Yeah. Like, uh, to invest in my noodle account. <laughs> like, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> noodle stock. <laughs> Dude, I remember having this like Pitipalna in my freezer like not even a portion of it and splitting it with friends <laughs> like, Nico would come over and i was like okay dude i have like one egg and the these leftovers and we'd split it up you know have a loaf of bread and like water and you're like yeah food <laughs> bitches yes <laughs> <laughs> the worst yeah uh, yeah freelance freelance i love it yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool though yeah but but i mean 
freelancing, you must have at least gotten to do a lot of new different things that you really, or, or were you so structured that you actually said no to stuff that you weren't comfortable with? Or did you take on stuff that you were like, well, I want to try this. Like, did you actually challenge yourself during that period? Yeah, I actually got like uh, a lot of projects because then it was based on my portfolio, not the company portfolio. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I got a lot of projects I was excited about. That's uh, cool. I got to do uh, illustration, which was super fun, and concept art. So it was mm-hmm. like a really nice balance. Uh, awesome. Um, uh, it was like for a car- Japanese company doing a card game, and then I was working a lot on Star Citizen, mm-hmm. uh, doing like uh, sci-fi interior. So. Like the two complemented each other really well. Awesome. Um, and they were super fun to work with both of them. Nice. And what would you say is like the best project? Like even with your company now, but of all time, what is like the best project you've worked on? Like that that you actually like you were excited, so excited about, like more than I guess the others. Like end product or the project itself? Whatever. I would say probably Valorant. Valorant, yeah. yeah. You do your work in Valorant. <laughs> like the first time you posted your first character that you did there, I don't specifically remember the character you made, but I remember your first post when you announced that you did some character work. Yeah. <laughs> I cried a little. Like, it was so good. Because Valorant already had like some really cool concepts when they started announcing the game. Yeah. And then you posted like, I was like, he's in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I spent like five that was like during my freelance career mm. that was the project that I got through Riot mm. um, and at the time it was like it was so different you know um, and seeing that from like the super early inception all the way to launch mm. was like uh, I'll never forget it you know it was, mm. it was amazing um, yeah and, and you feel like they treated you artists like in a good way as well, right? Yeah. 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 And th- that makes all the difference as well. Yeah. Like when you work on projects where they're like treating you like royalty, you know, because you're going to set the tone for the whole fucking thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that that's nice. I think companies have a tendency to forget that. <laughs> no, no, dude. Yeah. That, that's why I love my freelance clients. And like when I worked with Samsung on the fucking dog portraits, yeah. they were like so nice about it. And they were like, uh, you know, like, they just treat you so differently yep. because you're the only one that they could find. Because it's hard to find artists if you're not in the community. Yep. I can say like, oh, this guy does that, that one does this, she does that, you know, like. But they they only knew me mm-hmm. and they found me through a project that I did for Samsung, like through another gig that I did. And they were like, oh, we want that guy if he can draw dogs. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Dude, it was such a, I've never drawn dogs. Like, <laughs> never. I was like, okay, I'll just learn to draw dogs yeah. and then we'll see. <laughs> and they accepted. They were like, we don't really care. You, If you can solve it, then we'll hire you. I was yeah. like, okay. And they were so good about it. Like, yeah. You just feel like you're special. And then you work, you know, in other places and you just feel like shit. <laughs> and you work so hard, you know, yeah. to make something awesome. I feel like so many times you just get these topics that you probably never tackled. And you're like, yeah. I can do this. <laughs> and then you just figure it out along the way. Yeah, Dude. pretty much all of them. <laughs> oh, so many times. Yeah. Like the Klarna thing was the same. I They wanted like instructional illustrations for payment methods so boring (laughs) and then they gave me the feedback as well like your old job you know you're like what the fuck is this why did i say yes (laughs) (laughs) and why didn't i raise my prices when they said it was a two-week delivery (laughs) you know i was like and it was 48 illustrations oh my god like as many pixels as my camera yeah yay awesome sauce (laughs) (laughs) But uh, all right, so picking up from freelancing two years, and what you stayed in after? Stockholm for yep. all of those yep. years. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, what happened? So during that freelance period, uh, I came across uh, it was it was we had the Slack channel where or Skype group where we were doing like this fa- challenge called Super Friend Challenge, mm-hmm. where we do like these uh, bunch of professionals who weren't doing much personal work. Um, we would pitch a topic and everybody ah, cool. gets to interpret it their own way, you know? Uh, and we posted all at the same time. The only rule, you're not allowed to share whip. 
to avoid <laughs> influencing each other. Oh, oh okay. that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I love that. Um, and in that Skype group, there was someone that's like, "Hey, is there any environment concept artist here?" I was like, "Yeah, sure." You know, and that, that uh, he was—I didn't know—he was working at Riot, and mm. the project was Valorant. You know, mm. so. That's when I started working with them. The first contract was for, I think, 65 days. Yeah. Um, and I knew pretty early on, like, I want to be full time with them. Mm. Um, so I went into like a little bit unhealthy, but as hard grind as I possibly could. So what I would do is like because of the time zones, like uh, I would work like more than 24 hours straight. <laughs> what uh, the fuck, geez, dude? Yeah. <laughs> and I'll do the drop. Um, because for me, it was like, uh, I would start like at eight. I was living at home, so my mom was cooking and everything. No, like, I didn't have to think about anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, That's well, smart. I need this gig. Just let me focus on the work. Please help me with everything else. And I just like get up, eat breakfast in front of the computer, draw, 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 draw until like eight the next morning or sometimes a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I send off the work and like I knew when I went to bed that there's nothing else I could have done. Yeah. And that was important for me to like, uh, I'm okay with failure. I, I have no problem failing. If, if you tried your best, yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. And that's, that's so important. Like, I, I cannot accept failure if I do not try everything I can. Mm -hmm. I cannot do that anymore, like that long hours. Dude, <laughs> I feel you. Like, it does not work. No, it's, it's not sustainable, you know. But those 65 days became six and a half years. So. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome, dude. Yeah. Uh, so, mm, eventually moved to LA you know from there pretty cool <laughs> yeah. so so when did it start ticking in your head that yeah i think i think i need to go back to stockholm dude how long ago was this like how long have i followed you <laughs> what the fuck like <laughs> now that you were like that was six years ago or like you stayed there for six yeah. and a half years i was like when the fuck was this like it feels like i've only followed you for a few years but now you're putting it into perspective i was like <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah, it was four and a half years in LA and like, I think, uh, remote for a year and a half ish. Oh, okay. Yeah. LA. Yeah. Cause to get visa to us, it's like, it's pretty complicated process. Yes, it is. So mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to, um, there's a few procedures you have to go through. So you have to work remotely. Um, but you know, during that, uh, cause I did one full year in remote before I moved, when I moved mm -hmm. to Croatia. Uh, and that's when I did like do a painting every day. Uh, yeah, 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 exactly. Uh, and that was to, um, I feel like, especially when you work as a professional artist, it's mm -hmm. so easy to not do personal work. Mm -hmm. Yes, you get super complacent and yeah. you don't, yeah. Uh, but to improve, you have to do, you have to fail, you know? Yeah. And you have to have like your sandbox time to mm -hmm. do whatever you think can work, you know? Yeah. Because that's how you learn to draw in the first place. You don't learn to draw because you try to do the right thing all the time. Mm, yeah. You try shit out. Right? Yeah. <laughs> But it's hard to do it when someone pays you for it. No, yeah. dude. <laughs> and uh, I don't know about hard. you. I know you don't care that much about this, but for me, as soon as I get money for something, I lose all interest in it. And it's not passion anymore. It's not hobby. It's work. And I don't have like that fire in me anymore in the same way as a personal project. So I always enjoy the personal stuff and look forward to the personal stuff while I'm still drawing every day. But... I just want to get finished with this so I can keep drawing what I really want to do. And then as soon as I get a job that is what I really want to do, I lose interest. <laughs> and then I come up with a new thing. And so and so it goes. Yeah. So I'm kind of, I don't know, fucked in the head in some way. Well, in many ways. Okay, let me, yes. Yeah. Yes, you are. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> let me just. <laughs> but of course, like I would love to get to uh, just draw cool posters all day mm. for the the you know billions of really shitty movies that i love that would be the dream samurai cop oh man <laughs> I would need like to see oh man i would oh, i would love that dude you should why don't you do that like that would be the best just take all the movies that people know suck yeah. and just draw posters for them like you could <laughs> fucking kick it out of the ballpark right? yeah well, I will at some point. I just need to get my mojo back. I'd love to see it. Yeah, yeah, okay. I would love yeah, to see this that is, as well. This is a promise that sometime in the future, a few years from now, <laughs> no, I will be doing that. Because mm -hmm. I mean, Samurai Cop for sure. For sure, yeah. yeah I need to. 
But something in regards to that, though, is that when I worked, like, I think one of the most important things for me doing game work, especially I worked on Candy Crush for seven years, but it was so important for me to have, like, my personal work outside of that. It was super important to be able to go there and do the, the, the work. Like, I needed my personal art to kind of be the opposite yeah, it's of that. A, it's the balance. Kind of, exactly, yeah. exactly. And so I could draw, like, all these things that I had in my head. And then at work, you know, I could appreciate the, the simplicity of Candy Crush and what the fuck that is, you know. Because yeah. yeah, it's a very sort of, let's call it unique style. <laughs> and and I, you'd, I, I, I would sketch them like I normally draw. Yep. And then I would try to, in steps, pull it back to make it into this vectorized, you know, graphic. So I, I would dr draw them as I enjoy drawing stuff. Yep. And then I would try to translate that over into, like, a candy, like, esque style. Yep. And that made it fun, you know, because I could also see the work, like, other people at the company that thought it was just boring or ugly. Or, like, you can also choose to look at it that way, but that's like you die inside you know yeah, yeah. Yeah. so you need to find even if you don't enjoy the work you need to find something that kind of speaks to you or that is a challenge that makes it fun i think that's uh artistic maturity you know to be able to like um see it as a creative challenge yeah not so much like subject matter challenge yeah uh, and i think that's like super super healthy um and having the personal work like if they scrap those icons mm. it's okay yeah, you have yeah. your own work. Have uh, your own work, exactly. You're still happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, because I've seen the reverse where people who only do uh, work related to commercial product and that gets scrapped, mm. that hurts. That yeah. hurts, exactly. Yeah. I mean, that is your all, baby. Like, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So you need to like separate yourself a little bit by having something else on the side mm. and not get, you want to be attached, but not so much if it gets scrapped, it hurts. And yeah. I think that's actually what I've done, but to the extent that I start just hating everything that I get paid for, <laughs> because I just like put that wall between it and like, fuck you, I'm still going to do it. And then I'm going to take the money and then I'm going to do something else. But... <laughs> It's like yeah. that dog you love that you <laughs> want to I'm not going to love it. No, I'm just thinking of that scene in movies, you know, like, go away, go, like Bud or whatever the fuck that dog movie <laughs> is when he wants him to, like, go away and he's just, like, trying to be mean to the dog so he'll walk away. That's what you do with your art. You're like, no, I don't love you anymore. Just go away. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to scare your art away. Yeah, you get the puppy eyes back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly, and the dog doesn't understand. It's just like, oh, <laughs> yeah, kick some sand down it. <laughs> no, but, but but I totally get what you like. Artistic maturity is the word. Because yep. when I started at King, it was like, why are we drawing this ugly shit when we can make the game look cool? And then you know, with the years passing, I learned that oh, we're making an iPhone here. We can't start making like Samsung shit for it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You have to kind of stick to the whatever the product is, yep. and sort of remove your own biases and other shit that you want, you know, f from the product yeah. and like make decisions that'll build the product, not what you want to do that isn't related to the thing. Yeah. And it's such a hard thing to realize as well, you know, because yeah. you because I, I noticed in other artists, that's how I realized I was doing it, too. When someone was like, oh, I don't want to blah, 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 this or that. And you're like, oh, shit, I've also done that, but he's yeah. wrong. Yeah. <laughs> and th yeah. that means that I'm wrong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you kind of slowly start thinking about yourself instead, you know. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. It, it takes time. It know? does take time. Yeah. Uh, but I still want to yeah, hear go. how <laughs> you went from L.A. to decide to come back to Stockholm. Oh, okay. And do your thing. Yeah. So... Um, uh, it was 2020, you know, pandemic hit like really hard. I think in LA, it's like March. <laughs> yes, LA it sounded was, bonkers. Yeah. Yeah. And then you had like the, the protests and everything happening, which like made it even worse because people are like so close. Damn. Yep. I had already forgotten all about that. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Dude, it wasn't even long ago. That's yeah. the thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it was pretty bad. And like, um, I sort of uh, thought about a lot of stuff. You know, my parents are really old, you know, during the pandemic. Like, at the time, I don't think even, there was even vaccine, you know? Oh, uh, yeah. It was so, that early on. Yeah, yeah. 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 It was, so I won't... And, you know, like, unfortunately, at the time, Wright didn't provide remote work uh, 
across uh, ocean yeah, and stuff. Across, you know? yeah. Okay, yeah. really? Yeah, um, which was also a surprise to me. Yeah, um, but I decided, you know, I want to, I want to move back. You know, uh, I want to be closer to family. Uh, it's a shame that I had to leave the company because uh, otherwise I would have left. I love it. Yeah, mm, I love yeah. my coworkers. I love the project. It was like we had shipped it during the pandemic, which was really exciting. Uh, like f- all that work, you know, like when people, you know, it was a difficult time for a lot of people. Mm. A lot of people dealt with it differently. It was, it was a really nice to give people something. Yeah, you know? and yeah. it was like it was free to play. You know, you could just download it, try for fun, uh, and I think it really helped. Uh, Dude, and people. the reception was really good. Yeah, like, <laughs> it was fun. It was fun seeing people enjoying mm. it, you know. Uh, and, uh, you know, moving back, it was like, all right, I'm, I, I don't want to freelance. Like, I want to I wanna build something that I believe in, mm. you know, and build a team around the things that are important to me. Um, I sort of set out to, um, like, I, I started this process uh a few months before I had told my manager early mm. it's like hey you know I'm probably going to move back you know I don't know when but I'm going to move back mm. and I'm going to leave um, so when I had that discussion I started talking with my wife it's like okay I want to set up this company uh, how do we do a website you know how I have never done this before mm. so I'm like how to go we go how to make a website <laughs> 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 it's like uh, pull a lot of inspiration it's like try to put it all together mm-hmm. um, because on the day I left was the announcement of the studio, you know, boom. Yeah. That's oh, cool. sick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's fucking awesome, man. So, <laughs> um, you know, then we're like in Airbnb and, and traveling and like, we're moving back to Stockholm. We had, we had an apartment, but no furniture. So it's like, while doing all that, uh, and my wife was pregnant at the time and good timing. Tra- yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And negotiating, you know, yeah. like recruiting a producer, or trying to find artists, get coming to agreement with, with potential clients, you know, like learning a lot of uh, valuable lessons along the way. Um, and this was like, we officially like we, I think I announced the studio somewhere in October. It's like when I, when I'd left, but we officially opened the door, I think it was like 15th or 16th of November. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I had a fantastic producer who's still with us today, uh, and two fantastic concept artists who were from France who just moved to Sweden. Uh, oh shit! Yeah, they're incredible. Um, and that was like the first uh, team out of the gate, you know. That is very cool. Uh, yeah, and we had a really fun project to tackle, you know, and like uh, it started like building. You know? Oh, by the way. Tell people what the name of the studio is. I was just oh. going to ask. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Sorry. laughs> Promote yourself. Yeah, uh, Edvar Studio. Uh, Edvar. Yeah. Uh, if you type in edvarstudio.com, you'll find our website. Uh, we're going to update it with the yeah. end of the year with a bunch of new cool art that's coming out. Uh, and yeah. the name is E-N-V-A-R, right? Envar. Yep. Envar. Yep. yep. We're also on ArtStation. We have a lot of work there. Yes, awesome. Yeah. Uh, and that was the start. Uh, and then during like... 2021 you know we just kept building trying to like figure things out uh recruiting more it's it's a difficult balance where like you you know when you bring people on you want to make sure they work yeah that's what i was going to say as well like because you don't want people to just like you you don't want money like money to just bleed out of the company Mm -hmm. as you hire more people or hire too fast or too slow you know like there's a fine balance yeah yeah and, and that's hard, you know. It's Dude, like, it is, yeah. It was, uh, I feel like we're lucky with the teams we're working with mm. uh, and, like, uh, scheduling and everything, but it's, like, we always try to, like, we bring people in, we try to have everything ready so they can just start, you know, mm. um, and, like, really try to uh, improve upon things and make it as good as we can. And how many people were you, like, because you've been going for about two years. Yeah. And you have about how many employees? 70 now. 70. That is yeah. insane, dude. So you went from being yourself and three other people in total when you started yeah. to 70 people. Yep. Yeah. That is pretty cool. In two fucking years. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 Blasphemy. Yeah. <laughs> in this room. Uh, man. And to go back to what you started talking about it in the, the early parts of the show, only 2D art. Yes. Yeah. So why why did you decide to limit yourself to just the 2D or have you maybe not closed that door? I mean, or 
because obviously that's it's your baby now like we talked about you don't want to like do something different with it now that it's it's still the 2d thing like yeah. but it's so impressive to me that you've well the fact that you have this company and you have 70 employees it's insane but you're all doing 2d art it's just so fucking awesome man <laughs> <laughs> like how how the fuck do you manage to keep it afloat and get that that much work when it's it feels like the whole industry is just 3d wherever you look yeah um i think the reason i focus on 2d because it's my expertise yeah uh, and like i wanted to like the goal is to cover the whole pipeline yeah mm. uh, now we have Fantastic 3D character artists. Our team is five on that side. Um, nice. But uh, we're, I think, 45 2D or 50 uh, 2D artists. So that is still our focus. Mm -hmm. um, and it's like, for me, it's an area like, I know it by heart. You know, mm -hmm. I can instantly tell, like, in a portfolio, like, what to struggle on, what's going to work, you know, for project as well. Like, sometimes yeah, yeah, yeah. we... Uh, I think a little bit like a conductor, you yeah. know, it's like, all right, I know your tune. I know this is not going to quite hit it, but you're going to do well at this, you know? So, mm -hmm. um, I, I would like to say I've gotten very good at shuffling people around. That's really good, dude. Because you don't want to put a person in a situation where, you know, they'll struggle, you know, mm -hmm. I'll push people, you know, like if that's there's different, that's mm -hmm. different. Though, yeah. yeah. The, the, when there's room, I'll, I'll challenge yeah. them, you yeah. know? But if I know it's something like, if I know someone's an environment painter, I'm not going to give an illustration task. You know? yeah. It's just going to be like miserable for the artist and difficult for us. And, you know? and reflecting the work and yeah. it's going to be, yeah. Time wasted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then someone has to salvage it in the end. Exactly that. Yeah. Like, or, or they'll have to work double time yeah. to make the thing you could have, like someone else could have given you in four hours. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, it's just been like it. Two D side has been really easy to to sort of build up and mm. stuff, you know. And like we, I feel like on the as a as a reputation, it, it, we're doing well on that. Mm. And we hope to now build on the three D side. Hopefully, you know, maybe some animation or some stuff mm. like that in the future. Um, nice. So yeah, it's uh, super exciting, man. Yeah. And have you guys like thought of anything like in house, like doing stuff that you own th just for you? Like, is that something that could happen down the line? Yes, there is something in the works. Oh, oh you heard it here I first. Like <laughs> Envar <laughs> Studio. <laughs> we have a few job listings on our page where you can see that, but Ooh, we'll cool. hopefully announce um, one of our games we're making this year. Oh, cool. like that fast. Yeah. Holy see, shit. I said it. They're doing it. <laughs> That's why that happened. Uh, <laughs> 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 nah, dude, really cool. Yeah. And it's awesome that you've actually managed to build a company within the field in Sweden, that works. <laughs> uh, With wife and baby and yeah. all of that simultaneously. And I was going to say <laughs> something about that as well. Like, Insane. you described a very chaotic, like, life. Yeah. Yep. Like, you were going to move back, baby. You weren't even at home. You were in a, some, some bed and breakfast place. Like, all those things. It kind of just proves that... Don't wait for life to get better yep. to do what you love. Like yep. within the chaos that you're in, just fucking do it. Like, Deal with it. Yeah, yeah. Like you can. Like it feels like it's been proven a, a lot of times, you know, but, but you need the right person to kind of like you need to hear it from the right person at the right time to kind of trigger your brain to yeah. Yeah. kind of live up to that. I, I think one of the things that I think a lot of people, myself included, was mm. like always thinking it's like the circumstance has to be perfect, you know? Like, yeah, same. I, I just want this thing to, to be settled in this thing, you know? It's mm. never going to happen. There, there'll yeah. always be yeah. something unexpected happening and it's like the situation, like just just do it, you know? Yeah. Like um, whatever the circumstances is, like if you're excited about it, if you believe in it, mm. try your best. As long as you try your best, yeah. like... It doesn't matter if it fails. No, no. It doesn't matter at all. And keep working at it. Yeah. Yeah. Just never stop. Yeah. Like that's the, mm -hmm. I think that's the key. A lot of us today are waiting for motivation or inspiration to kick in. Or someone to reach out. Yeah, uh. <laughs> exactly. And 
deep down inside, we all know that's bullshit. Yeah, of course. Love because that. you're just going to be sitting there waiting. Yep. Yeah. I've seen all of the YouTube clips. I know this. <laughs> <laughs> there is no motivation there. I'll just watch the next clip until success yeah. hits me. Yeah. 15 motivational quotes. But you quotes. know what the cool thing here is as well? <laughs> Ati, you, you, you talk about like this focus to become better, to improve. I've had like a moment like that. You've had a moment like that where you just focus on the work. You do it for the right reasons. You don't do it for social media because it didn't exist when yep. we were doing it. Yep. And, and w- when we had Adam on, Adam Torn, it's the same thing. Yep. His art sucked. He focused a lot. And it, within a few years... He just like produces right. like professional work yeah. Yeah. from like you know w- where he put like characters in weird perspectives and shit in his work, and then fast forward a couple of years and he's so good. He went from uh, Harfoot to Gandalf. Yeah, yeah but, but basically <laughs> yes, yeah. insane what you can do if you like focus in the right way. Because yeah. I think I shot myself in. Like all of the, the feet, fo- all the feet. Yeah, <laughs> no, but, but basically, I did. I was like, oh, I don't want to learn that. I just want to draw what I think is cool. To plan. That is the worst <laughs> yeah. art. Like, like the way to go about art. Mm-hmm. Like, you really need to learn. And I, I, I wish I did this as a kid, but I was too cool to learn anything. I just wanted to figure it all out. Like, build. Like, re- like they rediscover the wheel on every fucking subject matter. You already that, knew everything. Why, why <laughs> learn something? <laughs> that, that's exactly fucking. Like, I know this. Yeah. I just need so, to draw dude, it enough I times to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know how many fucking wheels I reinvented uh. to become. <laughs> hey, to become a mediocre oh, artist. Still at a best. square. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but, but it's it's insane, yeah. and like. And when I hear you talk about it, and when we've talked to other like experienced artists, we're like, oh, of course, that's how you do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. but but no. just like, <laughs> but it's so nice to hear it, yeah. and I hope that like that the shit I didn't hear about it when I was a kid, like you said as well. Oh, you could work in fucking games. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's actually artists and not just people pressing buttons yeah. that are, you know, making games. I yeah. didn't know that. Nope. Yeah. We saw Disney movies and shit, and we, we were had like, no idea. But we had no idea, you know, people actually sat there and like, actually, the, like the work behind it. That. Yeah, yeah. Or <laughs> that or that they concepted. Yeah, like, yeah we saw. We, the, we had no idea what a concept was. But that's what I mean. Like concept art for me was like cover art you know for different games that's what we thought concept art was like oh it's polished shit that you see on games and like the back the the games or the books Uh, we didn't understand they were on turnarounds and like weapons like with mods and shit like someone was actually making all that in 2D before Mm -hmm. it even became 3D or that there was like a Drew Struzan that got hired to do a movie poster for all the movie posters movie. from yeah. the <laughs> all, all of them all of them back in the day exactly like, yeah. we knew nothing yeah. no but that's what I'm saying I and blame the internet <laughs> for not existing but exactly and and you know in modern day like people complain about there not being work but like the new generation is so fucking like instant success that nobody puts in the work, but everybody wants the the confirmation and the the, the pats on the back or likes uh, from strangers, but nobody wants to do the work yeah. to kind of earn it. Yeah. Uh, so 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 it is a different mindset. Like you said, you didn't have an internet connection that yeah. didn't like inc- like it required suffering to use. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I had to find the USB dongle uh, thing with the internets. And then when I plugged it in, it was shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and I think like, I think the thing that's always misleading about art is like you see mm. a Drew Struzan painting, mm. you have no idea the hours he put in to learn all that. Dude. You just no. see a cool image. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I think that's like, especially when you're starting out, it's it's like can't be that hard, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, but you just never see the hours behind it. You know? No. Yeah, and you never see the 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 grind behind like yeah. successful people either. You exactly. just see like, oh well, he made it. Like he just did the thing. But Minecraft. it's him. Yeah, you know, no, he did I mean. it. That's yeah. what I mean. Yeah, he, it's he Minecraft. He just yeah. like he just did the thing, and then he became famous immediately. Yeah. 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 So you don't. Yeah, it, it's a tough one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But that, I mean, that's why we do this, yeah. why we talk about it, yeah. why you're here talking about it. And thank you again. Dude, so much. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, j- 
just uh, well, apart from you revealing that your company is having a, their own little baby, uh, <laughs> what what other plans or hopes do you have for the company in the future? Like the two two pillars behind the studio is like I want to make the absolute best work environment on the planet. Sweet. You know? Like I want everybody twenty four hour work day. I get it. <laughs> Fat boy bags. <laughs> I, I just want people to like just love coming in. You know, yeah. like have a place where uh, not just the projects but the environments like is the best we can possibly make it. Mm. Um, I think like working in US and Riot Campus like definitely influenced me. Mm. It was very cool. Like I want to push that beyond the extreme, mm. you know, and like make everybody just just love coming to work. You know, not even think about it as work. Um, and I want to make the best goddamn visuals out there. Yeah, you know? cool. Like I don't want us to be seen as another outsourcing. another outsourcing. Yeah, yeah, because like, yeah. Well, I haven't visited your offices, so I don't know, but. At least one of those you've already sort of dealt with and it's done. So if if your office is anything like, well, I guess like this, or if you have a comfy chair, I think you can take both. <laughs> so, <Not yet>. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no dreams then, I guess. Great, great, great. <laughs> no, that's awesome, man. And congratulations again, because it's such a cool journey to hear and mm. so impressive, specifically hearing that you started like way 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 later than any of us uh, yeah. ever thought we uh, fucking drew like from like we were kids yeah i mean non-stop we, always <laughs> yeah that's how stupid we are um uh, but so cool uh i think we're gonna move on from the main topic and just dive on into toolies and the rest of the show uh do you have anything else regarding the company that you would like to say before we move on? Um, I really hope we can be um, an exciting company that people want to be part of. Mm. You know? um, there's a lot of stuff cooking. We're looking for people for different roles. So check out our website. Awesome. And I will link all of that in the episode description with links to your Instagram, yep. the company's Instagram, the website, and all whatever you want us to link. Thank you. All of the alls. All of the all. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, so, and I'll also post it in the Discord when I announce the, the episode. Cool. Yeah, yeah moving, so on. Exactly. moving on. Yeah, moving on. Moving, moving on. on. <laughs> <laughs> And we're back. The tutulis. The tutulis. So, dude, uh, during this part, we usually ask our guests, what is their favorite tool or, you know, accessory, whatever, software, whatever you enjoy, like using the most as an artist? I love, uh, like recently, I've been using a lot of Myro. Uh, have you guys tried it? I have no idea what it is. <laughs> I'm like, what? It is Myro. Myro. Yeah, uh, Miro. I think uh, mm. it's it is fantastic. It's like a, it's like a collaboration board. You can just drag and drop images. You can draw on top of it. Like, oh yeah, shit. It's in like in a in a creative environment. It mm. is fantastic. Uh, like instead of like uploading files to Google Drive with text yeah, yeah, yeah. and everything, you drop post it. You can draw on top of stuff. Like it's so. So it's good. basically yeah. It's like a crafting table like where you can like you could put it, images on draw yeah. over it yeah. okay cool it's I love but fuck it. it sounds super familiar didn't I think we had it at King at some point it's I, I discovered it like in a year ago yeah and it's like we've been using it for almost everything since because when nice. you describe the program or, or the the software I recognize it but I can't recognize like I haven't heard the, the name yeah. anywhere yeah. but it sounds familiar like yeah. um but is it do you know how old it is like i think it's pretty new I okay yeah. then it's not like, the same we used yeah there's been a lot of similar ones i know google had a free one yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, i've used that one mm. yeah yeah <laughs> it's, it's tedious to yeah. use yeah. More and this than. is like it's just so easy to use you know yeah. Um, I love it. Strongly recommended. Even if you do personal work, you mm. don't have to purchase a subscription. I think you can just like mood board for your own project, put references. It's like pure F, but better. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Nice. Cool. Yeah. yeah. I'll try that out. Yeah. 
Does it exist only on desktop or is it something that you can use on your phone? Yeah, you can have it on your phone. It's not as good. Uh, of course. Yeah. But I'm thinking maybe on the iPad. It's yeah, very, because yeah, probably. I only use the iPad nowadays because well, well, same reasons. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I was trying to just think of like, where would I, what would I be able to do and use it for? Like, so... I don't know. Maybe it's actually really, really useful for doing tattoos because I do have a lot of references to work with. And, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I do a lot of photo bashing and drawing. And yeah, so maybe it actually is like the best of the best. Yeah. So Control. yeah, I will. I will. Yeah. But when you, you said you started out just doodling uh, while listening to people talk about stuff. Yeah. Um, when you slowly got into doing that more, what was your go-to for traditional just sketching and stuff? Did you have a specific, like, what pen is that? <laughs> <laughs> I, I love the the ink brush pen. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Fuck. Like the pocket one? Everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. God yeah. damn it. Yeah. God damn brush pens yeah. every time. <laughs> They're fun, though. They're, yeah. Versatility. Yeah, yeah. You get, like, you get really thin lines, you get super thick as well. Typical you know what I love the most? Yeah. When you draw small things, and then you press a little too hard, and you blotch it. <laughs> That's what I like about them. <laughs> they're, they're super fun. Oh, they are super fun. Yeah. Something else that you did mention, or that you guys talked about, that I didn't know that you did. That I did. That, that you did. did, did. Yeah, that I did. did. <laughs> that is a different type of tool. But just speaking on social media and all of this, you did a drawing a day for a year. Yep. How did that come about, and why... The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> now, obviously, you wanted to progress as an artist, right? Yeah. But sticking to that and doing it like, just talk a little bit about how you thought about the project and why. Yeah, mostly the why. Mostly no, the why. <laughs> <laughs> and then we want to bring your wife in to hear about wedding day. <laughs> I, I actually went like, I think, a year or two years before that to a workshop. Um, mm -hmm. I, it was in San Francisco and I remember there was a person who gave me feedback that there's still no storytelling in my work you know and I was like I kind of get it but not quite you mm -hmm. know that sometimes with feedback is like even though someone tells you something it's yeah. not easy to just understand it no you need mm -hmm. to be able to digest feedback you yeah know? yeah you need to yeah. process it and it took me like I think uh, a year or so and I was like damn, man, I have no storytelling sense whatsoever. Mm -hmm. um, so I was like, I, I need to practice this. So I made it a goal to try and like capture a story moment every single day, you know? It's awesome. Such a, like, just hearing you say it, it's so obvious that's what everybody should practice <laughs> and do. Mm -hmm. But, you know, yeah, it feels like a punch in the face. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> but in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that was like the goal. It's like every day, it, it wasn't so much on the execution or anything. It's just like, how can I tell a story every single day? And I like slice of life. So mm. my favorite subject matter is like more mm. mundane things that I think is just super fun, like someone waiting for the bus or like mm. reading a sign. You know, I enjoy those. Uh, but there's a lot of story to tell there. Yeah. Even if it's just that. Yeah. He yeah, could yeah. be a serial killer on his way to murder puppies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly <laughs> don't what know. you think of when somebody <laughs> reads a sign. Yes. Yeah. Very yeah. good. Very good. Storytelling. Robert, thank you. <laughs> I'm the storyteller here, okay? <laughs> this is my, it's my gift. <laughs> and he murdered all the puppies. <laughs> <laughs> but that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, but why? So did you set out to do a year? Or yeah. did it? Yeah. yeah, you really did. Yeah. Of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> that's when did, I discovered him. I actually like, did a, a dry room first. So I did for one month first to see if okay. I could do it, you mm -hmm. know, and I felt like it was, I learned a lot, you know, um, and then um, I was like, is it possible to do it for a year? Because mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. I was working at the time as well, and I think this is the thing when we have a job, doesn't matter what job you have, mm -hmm. it, it is hard finding the free time, you know, yeah. so, but I think if you, if you have a goal and it matters to you, you will make the time. You yeah. Know? Like I even, during this challenge, I got married as well. So it was even on the day I got married. You know? Yeah. Just got up early, did it quickly, you know, and, and that was it, you know. Uh, that is impressive. Like, I, yeah. I, no, but I, I appreciate the crazy, like, because mm -hmm. I know that I'm the same. Like, if I decide something, yep. I will stick to it. Yep. And then 
everyone else go like go to hell not really but you know like but i'll commit to it i'll yeah. like you said like you, you'll wake up earlier or you do an extra the same day you know like yeah. you'll you'll yeah. make it work yeah yeah, yeah. And that's where kind of passion shines through mm. and not that like, oh, I saw it on YouTube. It would be really cool to be able to do this. And then I will spend but just zero time. Think about it. how disappointed you would be if you missed one day, if you did all, all of, of the, the other others. days. Yeah. yeah. Even if it is your wedding day. Of like, course. <laughs> that would be the thing that you would think about mm. on the wedding day. Yeah. Well, yeah. You would just like, yeah. you need to get it over and done with. Otherwise, yeah. yeah. So I totally get it too. But it's still crazy. Mm. Like, yeah. I, I learned as well as like, I think when doing something like that, you have to realize like, uh, how much time do you actually have? Because you know? mm -hmm. if you spend like seven hour one day and then and another day spend an hour, it sort of throws it off balance, you know? Yeah, and yeah. it's like, um, I, I quickly realized like average, I can hit about two hours a day, you know? And that became the benchmark. It's like, I try to do two hours a day to do this painting, you mm. know, like on the weekends, obviously I had more time to do research and stuff. Uh, but like, that was like the average because I knew no matter what, I could keep that up Yeah, during, during like, um, whatever was happening during the day. Mm -hmm. Did you do any prep work for like, because you had more time on the weekend, would you prep like for the rest of the week? So you had ideas for, or did you just do them mostly daily? What, what I would do is I would like put together, like I had a, I had a folder called library mm -hmm. nice. where I would just like, you know, like, uh, I would number them one, two, three, four, five. And each and one of those, like if I, like, I'm just browsing internet and like, mm. I'll never forget this article. Cause like, as soon as I thought, I was like, I want to paint this. Not right now, I'm going to paint this. Uh, <laughs> and it was like about, uh, I just screenshot the article and put it in the folder. It was like about a train station that was only running because one girl, you know, um, she she was in high school and they didn't want to shut it down because she has no other other commute. So oh my kept, god! Yeah, so they kept this running just that is for her. Beautiful. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. such a yeah, yeah. It's such a cool narrative, right? Yeah. Um, and like you can, you know just hearing that you're like, oh, okay, so this girl, she's maybe uh, the f the only one at this train station. Can be a little spooky. Can be a bit yeah exciting. That you know? immediately. Well, I always go that way, but I just see like this shining ghost in the shut down train station, like yeah. just this girl standing there like yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like i would save stuff like that that randomly come across in this folder and it's like on the days where you're gonna be like what the fuck do i draw yeah, yeah. you go in there click you know yeah. oh, that's like, cool. ah, this article you mm. know and then you then you have it there uh so i think and it's so applicable to inktober which most yeah. of the people listening right now are going through this hell crying yes <laughs> that like another great inspiration for all those people just hearing you talk about this and doing it for a year yeah, not, just a month. <laughs> not just three. Yeah. yeah you're just doing the dry month <laughs> or dry run <laughs> the trial we did call everyone a failed yes. artist yeah, in, we did. in today's episode and that's only that we because released. i'm not doing inktober this year but i think it's a valuable thing to share that you need to apply yourself yeah. Like find whatever the fuck you're passionate about yeah. and really put in the work. Like, and I think everyone we've had on here has had that. Andrea that we've had, Tam, like she, she had the same thing where she went to art school and really applied herself, you know, for the stuff that she enjoys doing. And yeah. Adam, you, like everyone that we talk about that is like, like we had Evan here as well, like years ago, Andy, like we all had the same crazy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We've all been passionate about what we do to the point where everything else doesn't matter. Yep. Like I just want to do the thing mm. that I that I enjoy. Yep. And of course that's easier to do when you were young, but you started fucking late though. Yeah. Which is super impressive because you are, I would say, one of my favorite concept artists out there. Yeah. Where your style is no but but, but you know, like I, I, I usually call like uh, art station the incest of concept art. <laughs> Uh, because you know we all get influenced by each other yeah. and yeah. then I don't even know who I'm looking at anymore yeah. but there are some artists that do stick out and it's like they set a new precedence of concept art you know what I mean like yeah. I have my influences but I also have me you know what I mean mm -hmm. like and and that's impressive with your work that I, I, I like I really enjoy it and that's why your first Valorant pieces that 
we were released. I was like, motherfucker, what? I was like, what? <laughs> the fuck? Because because yeah. those like everyday drawings that you did, yeah, like compared to your like you know like your like live art, you know like the stuff that goes out in games and and, and entertainment, like. There's such a difference. It, the, the 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 draw every day. It was so pulled back, yep. but it had such an emotional connection. And I think that kind of like you, you're able to keep some of that in your professional work as well. You know, because you have the experience of that. And but but also I also a, a testament to the storytelling that you were trying to achieve. Yeah. Like you just validated it right there. <laughs> you valoranted it. <laughs> valoranted it. <laughs> Stop ranting word. about the Valorant. <laughs> the Valorant. <laughs> but did yeah. you only which me, uh, social media platforms did you utilize for the the one a day thing? Cocaine. No. Just <laughs> I, I, it was mostly Instagram. <laughs> Uh, I use a little bit. I use DeviantArt and ArtStation. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, that but was it was mainly focused on uh, the gram or for the gram. Yeah. yeah okay. So you spent. So when you said two hours, you mean you spent one and a half hours to just uploading to all the different sites, and yes, then half yeah. an hour on the edge. Just do DeviantArt. Yeah, I'll oh, forget uh, about it's it. It's so boring to upload shit. Like, it takes forever. Like, maybe they've smoothed it out, like, yeah, now, but... Probably. No. no. Okay, never okay. mind. But it's just, like, been last time... Ages. Dude, same. <laughs> last time I did it, I was like, never again. It's just so sad. <laughs> yeah, 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 I think we talked about it. Yeah. You open it up, and it's like ass. Yeah. <laughs> like an asshole, right in your face. Like, nah, it's just too many... It's holes. art. It's just too many holes to fill. <laughs> I don't know. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> I don't uh, know. It's it's just tedious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> that one, that uh, one sounds fast. But before we move, I have one last question before we go into the nerdy, geeky stuff. Okay. Do you feel like you have How achieved, big is your pen? No. <laughs> achieved your goal uh, that you set out to do? Not yet. No? No. So you're still cool. on the grind? Yep. Yeah, so cool. Are we going to get our Sky Pirates game soon? Open Sandbox Sky Pirate game? Oh. I've been waiting for years <laughs> for someone to make that fucking game. I just we'll need a Sky Pirates game with mm -hmm. islands in Moving the on! <laughs> 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 Retro time, baby. Son of a bitch. This yeah. is your, I've seen nothing. Oh, I've seen four, ep five episodes of Cyberpunk. Uh, oh, yeah, you did. And uh, good for you. Yeah, it's actually... Yeah. Like, the animation is a bit choppy, in like, but but it is... There's something about it that I enjoy. Yeah. And I hated the trailer, so... Okay, that's... Cool. Yeah. And that was the thing. You're at the... Ex no, I had seen three episodes when mm. I talked about it the first time. Okay. So I think you're at the breaking point where... After around episode five for me, I just couldn't stop watching. Okay. There was something that just sort of pulled me in yeah. and I just had to finish it. Uh, I agree with the animation. Yeah. It's, it's not bad, but, it's, but it does remind something like, a bit stiff about it. I don't know. Yeah. Like it's, compared it's a, to other stuff. It feels like, this is going to sound wrong, but maybe like an Americanized version of anime. the uh, Korean type of anime. <laughs> Like it's got this sort of, they sometimes do the 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 weird perspective things with arms and stuff, but mm -hmm. it's also because of their mods uh, that they have. Like it's just like it feels pulled out and stretched and and weird in some. No, way. I see what you mean. It's an uh, anime thing as well. Like yeah, they they exaggerate a lot to yeah. kind of emphasize stuff. Like, and it's very flat. Yeah, it is. But. But still, like, but I it, enjoyed it. But it, it has the same problem that Castlevania has for me. Like, it is a bit too bare bones sometimes mm -hmm. that I, I, like, I can enjoy it, but there, it's just something feels off. Yeah. That's the thing. I yeah. think once you've seen, like, really good animation, everything is lacking afterwards, yeah. you know? Yeah. And, and, and if the storytelling isn't there, like Castlevania, for me, the story kind of just, like, got super flat for me. Yeah, like, they, it, they dragged it out for too long. Dragged it out, and, like, it has its moments, like, that I really enjoy, but then also it has, like, like you start losing interest in the characters, and that's where they fail, in my opinion. Yeah. yeah. More than, like, I think the animation could have worked for Castlevania, but the story didn't hold up for me. Like, I st stopped caring. Yeah. I only watched to talk about it here. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. yeah. So, but, but Ati, yeah, uh, yeah. I wanted to ask you, like, what in your childhood? Because you said games. Yep. You played a lot of games because Norland. And, <laughs> yeah. and what kind of games were you introduced to, or like by friends and family? You know, like, and what kind of got you started on this path? Oh, I I played like a lot of Diablo, uh, World of Warcraft. Mm-hmm. Uh, so good, uh, <laughs> nerd. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I played so much Counter Strike. Uh, oh, really? You got yeah. into that as well? Yeah. So just top view uh, strategy type games. No, <laughs> yeah. Counter Strike is not that. It's a first person. First person. Oh fuck! No, I thought of uh, yeah, Command and Conquer. Starcraft. Starcraft. Yeah. Alert. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. There you go. You play Starcraft as well? Sorry, uh, I wasn't wrong. No, no. Because <laughs> we had a lot of people at work. <laughs> yeah, bunch of nerds. Yeah, and like after work at like four or five p.m., you would just start hearing like, <laughs> and and our like TA, uh, he was like. <laughs> Uh, I used to be faster. I was like, you're not impressing me <laughs> at all. Like, you're just a nerd. You're making it worse. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 you know, when they start up the game and you look at the art for StarCraft, it's so good. Yep. And yep. then you see them play StarCraft. Mm-hmm. And it's this, like, they were like, oh, well, if you downgrade all the graphics, like, if you put it at the lowest setting, it's better. And you're like, so you're basically playing garbage. Like, <laughs> it looks bad, and you're just like, <laughs> strategically <laughs> clicking. I was like, not impressed. I don't care how fast your like fingers are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so obviously, we weren't into those types of games. Uh, <laughs> what did you guys play? Story-based um, yeah, games. That's yeah. always been my thing. Slaves to the, the, the cuter games, like the... The Mario's and the, the well, well, yeah Mario the, because that was the only games that you know like I mean we started games. when everybody started but yeah. like the Zelda games is I think where I got really into it yeah until, especially the 64 yeah the 64 games. games were really good yeah, yeah. but I then, mean that's that's where it all started mm-hmm. making sense I yeah. guess in games yeah uh, fighting and, games I loved as well for a while yeah as a young kid but. But that's because he was good at it. Um, <laughs> that's why I don't like them. <laughs> Dude, he would get so angry. Like, we used to play together, and he would lose all the time. <laughs> oh, no. Like, all the time. He was like... Yeah. The, Even when like, I was winning, I was Dude, still basically losing. basically, my mom could jump in and beat my ass, Like, but he couldn't. Oh, <laughs> no, no. But, but he, what, what fighting you? It, like, Street Fighter. All Ninja, of them. Hey, no. <laughs> Turtles, Tournament Warriors, oh, like, yeah. anything, anything. Like, Tekken, you name it. He sucked. Like, no, I still suck. And the thing is, he's not bad at video games, but yeah, fighting games, he's, <laughs> yeah, he I plays on easy. Yeah, I do. Story mode. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy. It's story mode. Yeah. <laughs> I just like the good story. You know, it takes me out of the game if I yeah. die all the time. So, <laughs> no, but dude, I, 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 I play on normal, but I enjoy storytelling. Yeah. Yeah. Like I. So, I any game that is a platformer or anything now, that's a waste of time for yeah. me. Like, I need to get... Like, when I watch movies, I'll watch them. Like, I'll put all my muscles aside, all my... I'll open up my emotions, and I will fucking cry if I need to. You know, yeah. I watched Logan with four other so dudes good. from work, yeah. and so I good. cried at the cinema, yeah. sitting with my buds. You know, like... <laughs> Can we just talk about that for two seconds? Uh, like the big reveal that came this week that you sent. Oh my god! It was for Deadpool, Deadpool 3. three. Have you seen it? Have no. you seen the reveal? No, no. Oh, oh my man. god! So, uh, it's Hugh. Yeah, w- you, you know Hugh. Yeah, Hugh. <laughs> you know Hugh. We're talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's coming back to reprise. What? what? With Deadpool in Deadpool oh, three. Wow. Yes. 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 So yes. you need to watch those trailers. Yeah. Or there's teasers. Ryan Reynolds uh, YouTube. Uh, just go check it out. Dude, it's, I follow Ryan amazing. Reynolds on LinkedIn. That's where I saw them. <laughs> okay. Yeah, on okay. the subject of LinkedIn, yeah, by yeah. the way. Yeah. Yeah. But he is my favorite human. Like yeah. he is an idiot. Yeah. Like a smart, like I mean like intentional But idiot. that's the best thing about him is that he just knew how to utilize his unique, yeah, whatever yeah. it is, his, well, his stupidness. Yeah. And he just made it into a billion dollar industry. Yeah, it's insane. He just keeps creating new things. Like, Aviation gin, bitch. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, but either he just buys a part of yeah. a big company or he just makes his own company because like, well, I love doing stupid advertisement stuff. Yeah. 
I'm just going to make my own advertisement Dude, they're agency. so fun as well. Like, they're always, like... And they're amazing. Yeah. They're so good. They're basically <laughs> Deadpool without the suit yeah. in in commercials. That's the only thing. Like, after he did the first Deadpool, he's only done Deadpool, Deadpool in uh, different yeah. incarnations with or without the mask, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so every single movie afterward has been a version of Deadpool. Like, yeah. No, I know. So it's kind of, like, played way 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 mm. too much now but i mean still this well you need to see the reveal yeah. obviously but when you sent it my well balls and brain exploded it thank was thank you for sharing uh, <laughs> uh, yeah but but the best thing is I, that is the only entertainment news that i'm excited about yes yeah 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 and also Same. since you announced that you guys are working on something i'm excited because we've met you now and it's a personal thing <laughs> and you're here and so, you're, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> but but what i'm saying is like the yeah. entertainment industry i feel like we're, at a, we're, we're we are at an impasse, you know, like mm -hmm. there's so much expectation from outside. So comp companies are just churning out this boring stuff. And that doesn't mean that the stuff and the quality of the work isn't good, but it's not interesting. Yeah, it's a uh, safe bet. It's a safe bet and safe bets are boring. Yeah. Uh, but that's also why I'm a little bit worried about the, the hue the because hue? Yeah. they are like, of course, they were going to do this. Yeah. Like, of course, because it's the only thing left. <laughs> yeah. Everything else has come back in some way or form, like Jurassic Park or whichever other franchise. Yeah. They're just doing either revamping it or doing another one mm. or doing both. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. It's just so exhausting now to be a geek because mm. it's too much. Yeah. But like we said, this thing is still... This made me really excited again. After having pretty much She-Hulk destroy everything that, Dude, like I, the last bit of, of happiness I that was. I personally worked. didn't care. No, uh, but it, it, it's not that it's that bad. It was just like, it just ruined it in some way. Like it's become too much of something that fans are hating that it just takes me out of enjoying being a geek. You know what I mean? It's become yeah, a but, thing. Yeah, but it's a main, like, Comics and everything now is mainstream media. Yeah. Like it's just oversaturated uh, exactly to like, the point where I am sick of it, and I never yeah. thought I was going to be. Dude, it's like when Disney bought Star Wars, and yeah. then Star Wars. We had a Star Wars thing every day. Every yeah. day there was a new release of Star Wars. Still is. But that's, what I, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So now when I see Star Wars, I don't even take it in. No. Like, there's apparently a new show. And? or. I'm never gonna watch it because I don't care anymore. Like no. it's just like it's not that it's bad. It's actually it's just, kind of good. But that's what I've heard. But I don't care. Like, I don't I, remember I don't anything from the show. I don't know. Have you seen it? No. 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 Yeah. no. Ain't nobody got time. We got work to do. Exactly. And <laughs> sorry for bills to pay. For, this is obviously where we go nuts derailing. But uh, <laughs> more nerdy stuff. Yeah, more from nerdy you. stuff. No. Like what inspired you as a kid apart from video games? Like were you an anime or animation type geek or like what were what was your big influences growing up before your 20s yeah before your <laughs> 20s <laughs> my, my older, back when you used to write, rent vhs ah uh, thank you yes <laughs> yes but my brother used to do like the east they used to have these deals like you rent three for like a cheaper price yeah mm -hmm. and you just used to like rent all this like cool shit like i remember Pitch Black still one of my favorite oh, fuck yeah. Yes, love Pitch uh, Black. Back when Vin Diesel was still... By the way, what year are you born? Uh, 89. 89, all right. So, all right. Yeah, close to, close to home. Yeah. yeah. Um, still youngling. <laughs> Young child. <laughs> yes. Uh, and uh, Akira also. Like, <laughs> fuck yeah. Akira, I saw at your place for the first time. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, our baby minds yeah. were not fuck. ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> I fell in love with... Uh, like the jacket and the bike, yep. the bike, and I couldn't the draw any of them. Bike. No, I it's still so can't. frustrated. <laughs> still can't. <laughs> I yeah. haven't tried. I wanted we'll never to do try. A, a tribute piece for Akira and do like Shakira, Shakira with like. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I actually I started it and I had, I don't know why, but I was really into Adam Driver when he started playing Kylo Ren, and I just saw him playing Kaneda for some reason. <laughs> Now it doesn't make sense. But back then, mm -hmm. I was like, that would be a pretty cool casting. Like, a little bit weird. Mm -hmm. So I started doing a fan poster for 
the real like live action Akira. So I did him with the jacket, like uh -huh. looking a little bit wonky. Mm -hmm. Didn't turn out that good, so it's not been posted. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I just did that so I could draw the bike, obviously. Yeah. But I was too afraid to start it, so I just after I Dude, fucked up Adam you Driver. You draw a fucking X-wing. You're fine. Yeah, but like, X-wings are easy. Sure. You know? <laughs> the Akira bike is so simple that it's so difficult to do. Like yeah. You know, Yep. So so good. I so wanna, good. I want to buy an original cell one day, like it have in the office, just like glass it in. Yeah. Oh, yes. yes. One day. That would be cool. Yeah. I actually need to rebuy the movie because I only have it on. Rebuy the bike. No, I only sure. have the, the DVD. I need like the best possible Blu-ray I can find. Yeah. yeah. That's just one of those that it's it's never gonna die. It's. But we joked so. about this in previous episodes where I can still hear like. <laughs> Tetsuo and Kaneda, like the names, just screamed in my head, like, yeah. Kaneda! Tetsuo! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so good. Yeah. yeah. Fucking scarred me for life. But yeah, even the, the English dub is, is good. No, 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 like, it was fine. Yeah. Like, it came out in 1986, right? That's crazy when you think about it. Dude, yeah. when they are driving the bikes and everything and the lights in the back and everything, you're like, what? And then like, it's 24 frames. Yeah, 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 and it's, it's back animated then, like. 24 frames the fucking <laughs> second back in 86. Yeah, someone drew a lot. What like, the hey, fuck? Uh, in and it's three to hours long? <laughs> 24 hour days, that's where those hours went. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Can you imagine seeing that in the cinema back then? Dude. Like, must have been such an experience. Yeah. I wish they would. They just show they have, that movie they have, now. They like, have done yeah, a but bunch I of times. It. Yeah, yeah, I've missed it every time. Would Me too. love to see it. It on the sells screen. out within like ten minutes. I know. Yeah, I would love to see it at the cinema. Mm -hmm. Yes, right. I'm gonna get a bicycle with a Clown. like no, no with like a with a shell. <laughs> <laughs> with the shell of the Akira sort of like the bike I was just like eh, yeah. eh, eh, eh. <laughs> not as cool but kind of make cool. me Akira bicycle clown <laughs> sick yeah, yeah I, would dressed, I would be dressed as a clown riding it of course <laughs> do it <laughs> Yeah, uh, keep talking, Natty. <laughs> you said Akira. Okay, so Akira. <laughs> what else? What else did you enjoy? Um, I really liked Thirteenth Warrior. I don't know if you guys see it. with Which Antonio Banderas. Yeah. Really, Antonio yeah. Banderas. Oh yeah. shit! Now I know which when one it is. Yeah, he, like joins the Vikings. Yeah, yeah. So it's cool. on uh, Prime. The, the short. No, hair, it's on haircut, Disney. Right? I think. So he has like yeah. a short haircut yeah. that looks weird. Yeah. 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 Uh, started watching it and was. Definitely not high enough to enjoy that movie. <laughs> <laughs> that is a problem some people have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I will rewatch re it. At no, some I remember point. seeing yeah. the trailer, but I haven't seen the movie. You haven't seen the movie? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure we saw it. Maybe we saw it. I, it's That's how good it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a, I wouldn't recommend it. You know, but you did enjoy it back then. But dude, it's this, like when I saw Desperado thing. as a kid. It's it was so good. the best movie ever. It's and then I saw is. Antonio Banderas with a haircut. I was like, yeah, I'll pass on that. You know, like... <laughs> Yeah, yes, but I was like, super good. Dude, I is. love it. I still like, I'm looking for a man. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yes, you are. To cause himself. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, it's cool. It's Did, have you seen um, Cobra Kai? No. No? no. And, and you haven't seen Cobra you Kai? Shut your mouth. No. I have not. <laughs> no, but there's a great Desperado callback in the oh. last season. Okay. Uh, what? Yeah. Okay, I'll watch it at some point. My son has seen it. My daughter has seen it. I, I have seen it. Yeah. I'm gonna. I nah, really. Yeah, yeah. I, I'll see it. I really, really love it. It's it's not good, but really is, not. But everyone enjoys. But it. I just it's there's something with it. If it's bad, there's some type of nostalgia there that just like pulls it up. I must say, my son started like he watched the whole show, and then he was like, "How? Hey, is there anything else?" Like I was like, "Yeah, there's Karate Kid, the stuff that this is based off of." So he watched all those movies as well. And so, and I watched like the first forty minutes of the first one, and it's actually fucking like it's good. I thought like really I remember fun. Karate it's Kid as a bit boring. There's but, not a lot of karate, <laughs> no, dude. There's enough of it. Like, yeah, no, no, no. Because it's more about the kid being like bullied. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And but but it, it's a good movie though. Yeah. Like it was written pretty nicely about this kid that moves out to you know California somewhere mm. and. And just like can't find his place, you know, and he gets beaten and 
this like caretaker of the 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 apartments that he lives in, like Miyagi San, yeah. And, and but no, but it's so good. Like yeah. mm. I thought it was like sillier, slower. It's actually like well paced, well written. That's like, something that I I should definitely rewatch. No, I but I'm it saying it like every old movie that I revisit that isn't a Van Damme movie <laughs> that is like the, those kind of just suck, you know. <laughs> uh, but 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 the the actual classics that people actually talk about are really good. Like I said, the Kindergarten Cop, fucking yeah, awesome. That, like, yeah. it is so good yeah. that I was like, I thought this was silly. Yeah. And now I watch it and it's like the most, like, well-written fucking movie ever yeah. starring Arnold Schwarzenegger and kids. <laughs> Last Action Hero, I can definitely I have still not recommend seen that. That in years. That, Predator one. Oh my oh, God. That's yeah. seriously my top three yeah. all-time best movies. Did you see the new one? Yeah. Pre? Mm. Did you like it? Mm. Pre? Hey, yeah. bra. Hey, bra. I got through it. I but haven't seen it. I want to see it. I mean, it's it's one of the better sequels or I prequels, okay. I, I guess. I need to watch it. Like, because you saw it. Yeah. You've there's been just, on the fans. There's a lot of stuff in there that bugs me. Like the rubber band tomahawk thing. Seriously. Like. Rubber hawk. Why don't, why don't you like the rubber hawk? Like, she's, it's a yo-yo. Like, okay. Uh, and then, yeah, stuff. Okay. But I'll, the I'll design of the Predator is really cool. I yeah. love the mask. I love the whole thing. And I love that they went back to old school Predator yes. stuff. I watched that with my s- seven-year-old son or eight-year-old. I don't remember how old he was now. But the first one? Yeah. yeah. The, actually, th- I thought it was going to be a lot more like gory and stuff. There's but I mean, one he, scene. No, there's one. He doesn't rip scene. the 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 spinal cord. That's not the worst thing. thing in that movie, though. And the skinned people. The skinned people is the only thing because that that's was actually horrible. horrible. Yeah. The rest, even the ripping of it, nothing is scary. Like yeah. it's all. It's a pretty because like, he silly digs movie. his fucking hand into the back yeah. and rips but out. But they the haven't done cord. it. So, like, you're more uncomfortable about the skin bodies yeah. than anything else in that yeah. movie. But it is a fun watch. The dialogue is total bullshit. But amazing. Nobody can act and it's what makes it perfect. like perfect. Yeah. yeah. Carl Weathers can act. Carl Weathers can yeah. act later in you his career. You son of a bitch. Dylan, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it is. My son and I, we do it all the time. I'm like, Dean, you son of a bitch. <laughs> and then we just do the hand clasp. <laughs> Love it. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Goals. Uh, yeah. And my son goes around. He's like, you ugly motherfucker. <laughs> 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 not a great parenting moment, but I know where it's coming from. And he's not using, he's just using it as a reference for in the movie. And I'm like, that's my kid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Still, like, like, and then I give him a, I love it, as you be say. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the house. Not in the house, exactly. Yeah. Hey, that's hey, my thanks. wife cheering me on when I slap my son. Right? It's just <laughs> a collection of this? Ilias uh, slapping his kid. <laughs> no, but no. Yeah. It's yeah. fun to watch these movies with your kids because you get like a second opportunity to kind of relive it. Relive it. Relive it. Relive Yama. To relive that jama. moment through their eyes because we mm. saw it at that age you know like 7 to 10 years old like, like I mean like no but I mean like all these movies yeah. that came around way too early way too early but I think that's when they're magical when yeah. you yeah. don't know how the, the cookie is made you know like yeah. that's the, the like the, the beauty of these movies is like the first time when we saw Jurassic Park mm-hmm. in 93 in the fucking cinema mm-hmm. kabam <sighs> Yeah. Now you can now you know how they made them, you know yeah. what they did, and like it's still can, equally impressive. It is, no, no, no. It <laughs> even is, more so. Dude, <laughs> it is when it comes to like the oh shit, what are they called? The animatronics yeah, and the, the practicals. Stuff they use, the yeah. practicals. Yeah. Same yeah. thing with the gremlins. They made like I don't remember how many sculptures he said that they made for gremlins, especially gremlins two. Yeah, because then so it was cool. like it was both like it. static dolls and animatronic gremlins and. And they made like every gremlin needed like another five setups with like changes oh, to upper bodies God. and legs and stuff and facial expressions and they were just cutting between all those things. So every like gremlin had like you know a couple a couple um, of <clears throat> things that they could do with them, and it's just like so mind blowing. And when you see the actual dolls that are still left, not as many, but 
amazing. Yeah. Like they look so good that you buy the gremlins. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they're so well made. Whereas with CGI, even today, we can't really like we like most movies you just think about that oh, there's something off. So you focus on that instead of just watching the movie. Yeah. And that's why I love the Guardians. That's why you love uh Mandalorian, yeah, Grogu, because yeah, Grogu exactly. is all puppet. Yeah, but he walks weird. Yeah, he does. <laughs> but it's still like no, it I still didn't works I didn't so care. much more than yeah. if he would have been totally animated. Mm-hmm. I'm sure there's some animation done there. Uh, there has dude, to be. At there's some point. always refining in anime, yeah. like. Yeah. Yeah. But just him in the the crib thing, yeah. just like me doing whatever yeah. he does. There's something to it. My heart explodes. It's like the cutest thing ever. Mm-hmm. It made me want to have a baby. <laughs> and you did. <laughs> and I did. Uh, Santa so now, tricked you there. Now I have my Just own little like, baby Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> Just paste like ears on her. Yeah. <laughs> How did you know? Anyo. 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 I can't talk anymore. Uh, all right. What else? Oh, yeah, what else? What else? Have you seen anything recently that is actually on TV? Not like the Predator. <laughs> I am watching the Lord of the Power of Rings. Okay, so Rings of Power. I've seen five minutes or ten. I've seen two He's whole seen episodes. Two episodes. Uh, what is your opinion? Because this show is getting a lot of hot in here. Yeah, yeah. I haven't read the books. I enjoy it. You know, yeah. it's like it's. I feel like you know it, it's not gonna match it one to one. You know, it's yeah, like of course. The, and you can't compare it to like the movies. Like, I, it's just different. You know, I think for mm. what it is, you can appreciate it. Mm. You know, uh, and I think it's like fun story, fun narrative. Is uh, it four hundred million dollars good, <laughs> or how much? <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's it's more than that. Yeah, very pricey. You know? yeah. I think it's like it's a little bit sad if. You know, because that that bar is so high. Like. It is super high. It's almost sixty million an episode. Yeah, yeah. I think it's eighty. Actually. No, no, it's no, not. No. Fifty-six it's million per episode. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You're the nerd that would know. Yeah. Uh, never mind. I don't care about it. Like all in all, it. it's one billion dollars for the entire show, <laughs> but that's including buying the yeah, the license, the and license, stuff. and everything. But of course. it is the most expensive show ever made. To make Thus everyone far. disappointed because it's one of those IPs like Star Wars. I'm still know, waiting for hard. the Waterworld show, but we'll see. Maybe that'll... Not that come. would be awesome. Yeah, that will be awesome because that is happening. But uh, The Kevin was Costner m- Waterworld, or are we talking about Lord of the Rings still? No, no, no. This is a Kevin <laughs> Costner. I Waterworld. actually... Yeah. Like, the last time I saw that movie, I kind of enjoyed it. Me too. But yeah. it was a long time ago, but it's Good. such a fun concept, like, yeah. Yeah. all in all. But they are going to continue... I guess mm. where they left off. It was Dennis Hopper, right? Yeah. Yeah, he was always awesome as a bad guy. He was had yeah. an eye patch. Yeah, <laughs> Come on. smoking, smoking exactly. <laughs> I love smoking that all the bad guys were smoking and, and in leather <laughs> and in the le- ocean, yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. We're leather pirates. Like okay, cool. Leather floats. <laughs> leather floats. <laughs> but the rings of power. I mean, that's the mindset you need going into a show like yeah. this. Uh, for me, I. Also, haven't read anything. I'm an okay We're fan of the movies, <laughs> but I also know that this has nothing to do with the movies apart from some characters. Yeah. But to me, it just didn't, like, it was too slow. It was way too slow. In the first two episodes, it's two hours. Mm. Nothing happened. What do you mean? She like, takes up the mantle of her dead brother. Yeah, but, and like, I nothing s- that actually is like, so what is this story about? Like, she picks up the mantle. What am I watching? <laughs> what am I watching here? You know, that, yeah. sorry, yeah, I can't, I can't do accents. <laughs> so, yeah, that's why I was like, ah, no, it's not really for me, you know. Uh, I wasn't even that impressed with the CG stuff, to be honest. It wasn't all that, yeah. It wasn't. I haven't eh. seen it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So so that's why I've just not but, kept watching. But you have an eye for this as well. Like so what what is your like experience with the show like CGI wise? Do you think it holds up like all in all and just I like, think so. I think so. Mm-hmm. It's like, you know, we it's hard pushing it more than that, you know. Like I think That's the thing. I guess mm-hmm. like the limit is kind of the bar is already like there is no more bar. <laughs> no, it's like you know. I think they had like twenty outsource studios working. Wow! On this. 
And it's like, I think they did like 9,500 shots. Jesus Christ. So it's like, yeah. In terms of artistry, I think it's definitely just worth the watch. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All the design, all the care. It's like, if you just try to like look at the task. For what it is, yeah. yeah. I think there's, you know, it's like, what does it look like if you go all out? Yeah. You know, vi- visually. No, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of yeah. course. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, but that's, there's something like, I guess the CG stuff is probably better than the practical stuff. Mm-hmm. Some of the orcs are really cool. Yes. Uh, th- like, I haven't seen all that much. So I can't say mm-hmm. more than that. But it just feels like they're doing, maybe they're doing too much, you know? Yeah. If they scaled mm-hmm. it down to having, little bit less people working on it it would be more cohesive and polished in a different way i think mm-hmm. this is my personal opinion that it just it just became too much but and I, that just takes me out of it but I isn't guess. that like the 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 way that things have gone in all movies and everything media? like yeah because yeah, yeah. marvel like when i watched guardians Same. of the galaxy now with my son like it was very like it's all CGI. We know that, yep. but it feels pulled back in a way that it makes it believable. Mm. Even the friggin' raccoon, like Rocket, like what, yeah, which he, would be really so good in it, the first movie. It would be so difficult to pull off a character like that. Exactly, that's what I thought. Or as it well. should, I was it like, should how do you be make the fur <laughs> believable? Like, believable, yeah. you know. But he looks so good. Mm-hmm. And this movie came out years ago, yeah. and it still holds up today. I was like. Shit, this has aged really well, and yeah. it was only by the end of the movie that I was like, "Oh, by the way, this was all nothing. Like it's fake. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like 3D with voiceover." Yep. And it was so good. Yep. And yeah. then you know you watch like the later Marvel movies, and they go they push the 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 CGI so hard mm. that you get to the limits of what they're able to make believable. Yeah. And also, it's these like super epic things that get like you lose ex- the excitement because yeah. like you know you can't keep pushing it like yeah. you'll reach a limit very fast and 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 you can't keep upping the bar with every movie either like that's a like it's how you fail yeah yep but that's what they've so been Sanji trying yeah. is a really good movie in my opinion because i really enjoyed everything up until the last act yeah the last act for me is like Marvel movie. <laughs> no, 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 but Black so, Widow, uh, yeah. it was fine until the end where yeah. they took it over the top. Yeah. And those over the top things is, I don't know what it is, but it is, it seems to be like a pattern in sort of like in movies right now. Like we're starting to heat or like reach the, the, the upper limits of what we can sort of present visually. And that's and, why I wish they would start going back more to the practical Mm. in many movies but that's just why to, I loved Logan yeah it yeah. took like the whole X-Men shows and just pulled it all back yeah they were like we're gonna do this alternate story of broken Logan broken Xavier Broke and we're gonna Logan. give you a, a yeah. road trip movie basically <laughs> yeah, with so this good. grandpa mm. and dude it just it was my th- that year the best movie yeah mm-hmm. Because it had the emotional connection, it had a vulner- vulnerability in it. Xavier, like, you see the genius, but you also lose him. You know, mm-hmm. like like yeah. you last week when you got drunk. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but there was no genius. But there was no, no genius. I just got drunk. <laughs> <laughs> no, but 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 there's a beauty in the storytelling and the the sort of like the, the effects are so pulled back. Even at it's like the the the, the biggest CGI moments there are pretty low-key yep. compared yep. to other movies and i think the low-key thing now is not low-key as yeah a <laughs> you can see me oh, just yeah, waiting for like, it son of a bitch <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but just like <laughs> i have such an appreciation for that because you focus on telling a story and then just putting the stuff needed to sort of emphasize that and i, I appreciate that more mm. yeah. yeah so i agree more is less. More is less in th- those cases, especially, you know, when you can't match it. Like, I think Deadpool is aging really poorly now yeah. when you watch it again, yeah. like yeah. the first one. But when it came out with the limited budget that they had, which is millions still, uh, it was so good. Like that whole car scene, like, you know, in the beginning yes. with the flipping cars and the slow motion, like they, they present yeah. just enough 
They knew to exact, not break the illusion, exactly. you know. They knew exactly where to put the CG and what to do with it. Yeah. Like, it's so perfect. I still love that bridge scene. No, no, it's perfect. Because, I, as you saw, I just rewatched it, and it it's not as good anymore. Because, well, You've I've seen, I've seen it, it, like, times, probably a hundred times yeah. at this point. But that's why I just... I think that was where I realized that I am like officially Marvel fatigued or like mm. superhero fatigued. It's just, I've had enough. I need a break from yeah. when not even Deadpool one can entertain me. Mm. <laughs> That's but you like, know what I'm going to pull that parallel to uh-huh. AI art right now. Uh, there's this like, I, I'm not against it, but I'm also not for it. It's a thing that's there, you mm. know, but it is, it's going to happen here as well. I personally believe that like AI art will have the same effect like Star Wars and Marvel. You'll have, it's super exciting, it's new, everyone's using it, and that is the problem. Everyone, it's accessible to everyone. And, you know, every time I see AI art now, it's like I just scroll past it because I'm starting to, I've been in it for so long. Yep. And you're, and and I think this is the, one of the art forms that you get fed a lot now. You know, it's like NFTs. When they boomed, you saw NFTs everywhere. Now it's AI generated art. And it's just like it's being fed like out, like everyone's doing it. And now I'm starting to, you know, blinders are coming on. Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, I've seen this. Like I've seen because everything looks mid journey. You know, the artist is mid journey mostly. (laughs) And, And you start like it's not bad, but it is fatiguing like you get too much of the same thing over and over and over and over and you start getting blind to it and i think that's why instagram and all those things like why people are finding it harder to succeed isn't that the algorithm is fucking you it's that people are tired of seeing the same shit like you know you love loish so you do her art Mm -hmm. but everyone's following loish and there are so many people copying that you don't care about them. You like you phase out. You know what yeah, I mean? Like yeah, you get yeah. too much input. So so people only watch puppies and you know whatever else is popular right now, like TikToks, others. <laughs> yeah, no, no. But I just mean like <laughs> you you watch the the thing of least resistance somehow. Like I don't know how to express it. Yeah, which is why I actually watched. Well, I do watch a lot of horror movies, but. Uh, I have heard of a horror movie called X that is supposed to be a little bit different or like they, they go. <laughs> I was like, are you referring to your ex? Like, no. what are we talking about? It? <laughs> it's There's just a horror movie. <laughs> my ex. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, it's just a horror movie called X. Just oh, like X. the letter X. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Not EX. Uh, and I chose to not see anything prior to it. I saw one review just talking about the sequel prequel Mm. that's come out pretty recently and i'd just seen the cover which is a girl and then an ex like that's all i knew about the movie so went in totally blind watched it and really really enjoyed it it's Mm. not at all like one of the best movies ever but it's a good like slasher horror movie like taking it back to old school days Mm. with like the first type of you know, Friday the 13th or those types of movies. So, like, we are in Halloween season now. Mm -hmm. So if you guys haven't seen the movie X... X can't give it to you. uh, I I rented it, so I don't know if it is actually out on any streaming media at this very moment. But, uh, yeah, if Mm -hmm. you're looking for something to watch, Mm -hmm. X. X. And what are your favorite movies? Like, what kind of movies do you enjoy? (laughs) Ooh. Like mostly, like well, what what do you sort of? Because we like because I think you're homesick. What's the the yeah, go to? Exactly. What do you I put love on? Love spray. Uh, oh yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. like with X, like I don't watch any trailer or anything. Just ah, like, okay. I just saw the cover. Yeah. I was like, I I I love this franchise. It's been a few bad takes. Yeah. What is this like? And I always I was hoping they do kind of like go back in time. Mm. Uh, so I thought that was pretty cool. Mm. Um, but to go back to the AI stuff, yeah. um, it's a heavy topic, I think. It is a super, we really want to, I want to cover it, but I, I didn't want to, like I, I want an episode dedicated. Yeah. And I also want to read a little more about it, you know, like just to get like the, the general pulse, because we, we all know that people are like, 
always with these things like it's so polarizing it splits up people into groups yeah and it's yeah. like the people that love it and want to develop it and then there's the anti people that hate it and then it's just twitter in between <laughs> <laughs> i think it's just uh not legal you know like yeah the way it's like no. uh, i saw recently a video about this ai video software mm. and it turned out they had pulled like 10.8 million videos of Shutterstocks. They yeah, just that had the is. Stamps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People's private Facebook photos. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that, well, that is a problem course. as well. Yeah. yeah, and and I feel like that's the issue where it's like, um, there's just no regulations yet. Yeah, yeah. but it's coming, dude. Yeah. As soon as they go into touching the music industry and the movie industry, it's gonna be like. Gloves on, oh, yeah. like or no oh, gloves, yeah. or just dry. <laughs> Put the just sandpaper like, glove oh, dude, on. It's gonna be, yeah, <laughs> they're gonna get it up the wazoo like really, really hard. Oh yeah, as soon because you know, like the, the normal artists, we can't do shit to bigger companies, you know. Yeah. But I think as soon as they start going into these areas where there's money to be made by big corporations, it's gonna force regulation on the yeah. market. Uh, so it is scary though like what can be done with it. like ai like it's come to a point where it's actually really good yep and 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 it's becoming more refined so you can like oh, i want my face on that night and it just does your face on that night you know mm -hmm. but it still can't draw hands so fuck you ai <laughs> <laughs> i i saw like i saw a th like i'm so damaged and this is what i'm saying about ai fatigue but someone posted like guitar uh, chords yeah uh, that that someone was holding and it just looked it was like really like difficult ones that yeah. for like jazz or something like sh shit and it just looked like ai hands to me <laughs> you know like it, they looked kind of broken and i was like that's ai generated and i'm like oh it's about something else <laughs> but i saw it on facebook today it's just like i was like what the fuck is this shit <laughs> Just like, oh man. And it's like you said with the sort of the, like you get so fatigued about stuff that you, you instantly go anti yeah. whatever yeah. the fuck it is. Yeah. So if it is like Marvel movies where all the women are super strong and all the men are dumb, then you're like, no. Uh, yeah. And if it's like when people go to the extremes, that's the problem, you know, and they want to like, oh, we're pleasing this type of crowd. Uh, you become anti everything eventually you know like you get yeah. fed up basically by extremes it's just yeah it's, i guess it's, it's waiting for the the seesaw or whatever to come back to balance yeah balanced up because yeah. we've been like male dominant for so long now yeah, now we're bam, over correcting ladies and, are taking yeah. over that needs to happen and then yeah, it just that, needs the, to come back a little bit yeah so just meet meet halfway yeah and i think that'll happen we're all awesome we're yeah exactly but i i you know, it, it's a it's a tough thing to kind of steer now when everyone has access to social media. Yeah. Like it can be a powerful and good thing. It can also backfire and shoot you in the face. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's basically Russian roulette. That's the internet for you. You just put a bullet in, you spin it around, and hope for the best. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think if I've seen anything else apart I've from cooking any, shows. Yeah. Uh, uh, but if you only have seen cooking shows, on the topic of cyberpunk, that is a pretty, like, it's, it's an okay show that I would recommend, seeing having seen half of it. But I would also just recommend anyone to play the game. Like, for me personally, I know that that game, you know, it was a shit launch. Uh, but, but they, they patched it. To it, per, not no, perfection. No, no, no. Trust me, it's not perfect. I've, um, I've seen a lot of YouTube it, updates. Yeah, yeah. It's not <laughs> perfect in any way. Uh, it's but better. it is better. Yep. And I played it on my PlayStation Four Pro back when it came out, and I had like two, three major issues that didn't ruin the game experience. Like for me, the game like it got stuck every now and then, and wasn't a problem. Uh, but it, I loved the game. I love the aesthetic. I love the voice acting, the the storytelling, the like all the side stuff, the world. Like it was so good. Like it was I loved everything about that game and I hate first person games. And it's pretty cheap now. 
So yeah. you should really take advantage, I think. But I enjoyed everything about that game. You s- I started off with the small stuff, just went around, just you know, learned the controllers, like got comfortable, did all the smaller missions, and then so I could upgrade my stuff. And then I became a fucking machine. I didn't even have to fight anymore. I just walked into people and they just died around me, which felt <laughs> super cool because I put in so much work into upgrading, yeah. bought the best shit that I could find, and then just like walked through people, which made it so rewarding. Yeah. Because I was there for the story. I didn't really want to like hide behind walls and shoot people, you know, slowly. Yeah. So you played on easy? No. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never. I want to try it though, like huh? especially now that I have time to. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think it launched too early and yeah. You know, and deadlines probably was pushing it, mm-hmm. which is unfortunate when you spend so much time on it. Dude, uh, yeah. I think I still need to wait for the PS five before I get it. Okay, yeah. Because that I only have be, yeah. I have the PS four the the, reg- the, the yeah, first it's one. Garbage on that so console, so don't do I uh, yeah. I'm not gonna risk it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But but it's a like it's a fun game. It has great characters. Keanu Reeves is Keanu Reeves as yeah. well, so he does yeah. his thing, uh, and he's like it's all well written, existential uh, AI meeting, not AI art, but AI <laughs> meeting. <laughs> you know, like uh, like. But I just love the whole cyberpunk universe, you know, and they do it really well, and it's. It's just fun. Yeah, it's fun to just walk around. Like when you get to the bar where all the, the like the the runners are and everything, and you just sit there and you just listen to conversations. It's people going out for a fun time, or they're talking about someone that you're gonna talk to later. You know, yeah. like it is this like all this, like GTA. You know, yeah. Yeah. when you hear people talking on phones and stuff, like the 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 visual like the the audio is so beautifully written that even people on their phones th- like even that's interesting and that's what i enjoy about these games like there's a narrative happening even outside of the actual narrative yeah uh, it's a living world yeah. like actual yeah and also in that game cool. you find shit everywhere like if you rummage through garbage and stuff like that like that's you'll awesome. find like the only thing I hate about first person is that all the gear you have on, you can't see. Yeah. That's why I don't <laughs> like th- first person. I want to see my character because I don't want to be the character. I want to live the story through that avatar that's in front of me. Mm. Uh, and with all the cool gear, dude, I I had like leather pants. like So like, cool. No, no, no. But this is the, <laughs> no, but this is the, the, the best part. It had the best stats. So I looked... <laughs> I, I looked like a fucking like I had these like lev- leotard pants and you know like and then I had this like bomber jacket that was like super massive with like cool details and shit and I, I always you looked like a it. pimp or like a homeless dude because those things had and, and it's always a mix of both yeah. and then every time I would sit on my bike the game would glitch I was naked oh, and it, no but it was st- fun like stuff like that that made it just fun you know what I mean because it was never like it never broke the experience for me it's just like okay this is a thing now so I had a helmet and I was naked and I was just like I would say that breaks the immersion a little bit Uh, maybe a little bit no no for me no 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 look it didn't happen often enough you never saw yourself with clothes anyway so yeah but but that's the thing that's the thing but they also put in these little elements in the game that I don't want to spoil for anyone but it's just like a nice touch you know Yeah. yeah If you're willing to not just run through the story, yeah. that's the thing. Because th- the magic isn't the story itself always. Like sometimes it's just the environment. Mm. And I love the idea that you get to choose what kind of like character you want to play. You want to be a corpo, which is, you know, like the people that actually succeed in this world. Or you want to be those guys that live out in the slums outside of the city. Or you want to be like a. Oh shit! I don't even remember what they were called now. But there are three groups. Scavenger. No. Yeah, but basically, you're some type of scavenger, cool. uh, or like those like street punks, or the the corpos. That's uh, awesome. Yeah, either whichever you choose, like you'll end up in the same place, but you'll have different backstories and different skill sets. That's uh, awesome. So it's really nice, and you can build up to like, okay, I want to be, I want to be like 
I want to murder everyone, then you build up for that. Yeah. Or you can just go melee throughout the whole game. I want to be a samurai, and you can just buy stuff like swords and and hand knives, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and just build. Like you can play the whole game without shooting anyone if you want. Like I love that, and that's why I love this game. Like with even with all the shit it's gotten, it's such a cool way that like be whatever you want. You don't even have to like stab anyone. You can just kill them with your thoughts, <laughs> like with your tech. Yeah, yeah. That's what I built. Yeah. I was like, yeah, guns are cool, but I can just walk through it with like, like a shotgun and then just like mind fry everyone. Yeah. That was pretty cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. It, it's a lot of fun. I, I usually do this thing during the, the Christmas break when I try a game. Last year I played uh, Red Dead Redemption. Which so one? The second, the second one? Yeah. Oh, it's so good. I've only started it three times I think <laughs> did you finish it or did no, you just ah no, no. oh, dude uh, I'm going to add Cyberpunk to this year's Christmas mm -hmm. ah cool yeah. No, yeah I try to always finish the games I start like I must yeah. so I, don't, yeah. I only play the two three games a year yeah yeah I never finish anything <laughs> I love games man like like with storytelling like Tsushima mm -hmm. ah, that's wonderful still... game to finish uh, Horizon awesome Red Dead Redemption 2 Yep. first one as well like those are like those are the games that i enjoy yeah and i will play them you know slowly because like my witcher playthrough is like 200 hours mm. and people were like ah, oh, but but I, i played it for years you know oh, okay, okay. i didn't like spend like a psycho i don't have time <laughs> but I, i i enjoyed everything about it you know what yeah. i mean I played it for story. I didn't yeah. care about the finish or the the end of the story. I wanted like the little experiences. And The Witcher, same studio, mm. also gave you like these. Like there's this overarching story, but then they split it up into these smaller things that kind of build your character and they tell your story about the world you're walking in, yeah. the, the 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 spies or like the, the resentment towards the witchers, but also it's the witchers that they call in to save their fucking lives, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. but they're the dirt, yeah. like the, the filth <laughs> yeah. in that society. And, and the racism between like humans and elves and dwarves, you know, and all those things. And it's just, you, you face addiction, people that are addicted to, you know, whatever the drugs are of that world. There's like cheating. There's like a, a like a, a love drama between two sisters and a werewolf. It's just like, <laughs> dude, it is the three little pigs. They, there's Madonna references. There's Twilight <laughs> references. Dude, that game has everything. Everything. Yeah. So I played it and I was just like, you know, three in the morning and I was like, ha, <laughs> Twilight. And then you go to bed because you, know? yeah. uh, you can read books and one of them was Twilight, uh, which is uh, fun. Yeah, that's cool. that's cool. So it's a lot of those little things that you get to sort of explore in that game. And it's just magical. I don't know. Yeah. What's your what's your go to of all type of media like to to close close it off? Mm -hmm. uh, are you just all in games or do you read a lot of books, books or movies porn, yeah. uh, <laughs> exactly I, I do like a lot of audiobooks yeah like uh, I almost all the time I have it running mm. uh, usually when I work as well uh, like I either like it's self-improvement or horror books nice like those two categories <laughs> okay if you get yeah. to, to recommend one book from each category exactly go perfect way to close it off yeah If you want to go really dark, mm -hmm. Mr. Mercedes from Stephen King is really good. I haven't read it or heard it, but yeah. I've heard about it. It's uh, there's like a it's like a a sequel or like three mm -hmm. parts. Second part, third, don't bother. But like first one, mm -hmm. it's dark, but it it's Stephen King, you know. Yeah. Or the Institute, it's also very good. For mm -hmm. them. Cool. Starts a bit slow, but uh, one of my favorite books actually. Mm -hmm. uh, And for self improvement, I think probably one of my favorite is like um, um, th two. So one is uh, as, uh, seven habits of highly effective people. Yeah. And there's one that isn't self improvement, but it's like more company management. Mm -hmm. It's like called Creativity Inc. It's oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Heard I've heard it. about both. So when they like build Pixar, kind mm -hmm. of. Yeah. Uh, that oh, one. Oh yeah, like, that's right. It's it's super interesting because like they they start start from the very beginning and then it just like 
goes through all of it and all the failures and it, it's just super cool nice and, yeah awesome yeah that's actually awesome tips because and and by the way i need to ask this not for my sake or yours but people that listen to this show want us to make an episode about art books and okay. we don't care yeah uh, <laughs> so what is your if you get to choose one art book do you like art books by the way yes. and which one would you recommend everyone check out for like learning or just visuals just visuals oh and or, learning. Or learning. <laughs> just one from each category. Yeah. <laughs> I would say for learning, Frame Dink is like gold, you know. Mm -hmm. Have you guys read it? No. Nope. nope. This is like I told you, books. <laughs> Fuck books. Learning? It's what is learning? this? Learning, I like. <laughs> it's, I'm learning. I feel like, especially with a lot of art, <laughs> with a lot of art books, yeah. it can be a lot of information to absorb. Yeah. yeah. But this is like done for artists. It's like you have a little prompt, sample. Little prompt. What was it called? Framed ink. Oh, framed, framed ink. Yeah, ink. I have it. And, uh, derp, derp, derp. I yeah. have framed ink. It's on beside my black set books. Oh, really? It's the guy. What's his face? It's uh, the Armano. I think no. Yeah, because it's the black cover. With yeah, the, yeah, yeah. I have it. I, I was supposed to read it last year. It's <laughs> it's great. I, I would say like read read one prompt, apply it. Yeah. Read one prompt, apply it. Um, and I think for visuals, like I love Princess Mononoke art. Oh uh, yeah. It's mm -hmm. they. The forest, they inspired them. It's like visually, it's just eye candy, mm -hmm. you know. Just like your interpretations of those. Yeah. yeah. Same. Yeah. Because yeah, <laughs> yeah, so you had, good. like, you, I think you did, like, Spirited Away. You did yeah. a couple of those, like, yeah. in your 365-day challenge. <laughs> yeah. It's it's so beautiful, the visuals. And Mononoke, for me, is always, like, that was my, I think, where I really fell in love with anime for real yeah. after Mononoke. Like, I don't know how many times we we, we saw, saw it, it and then I've lot. seen it probably twice that amount myself. Yeah. It's just like, yep. uh, and now it's on Netflix. <laughs> and uh, I need to shout one more thing before we close the show. I watched Into the Spider-Verse again and we've talked about that so many times. I love that you sent me the clip this morning and yeah. I sent you Deadpool. Yeah. <laughs> like we were Dude, watching geeky shit. It's so good. Yeah. Dude, it's so good. And yeah. today when I watch it, I've taken a long break from watching it, maybe a year, and it's better today. Like, it's so much better today. It I is like, better every time. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, why doesn't it get, like, you know, like when you go back and watch like Toy Story 1, you're like, ugh. <laughs> you're like, what happened to this shit? This is not how I remember it. <laughs> yeah. uh, but Into the Spider-Verse, I was like, was it this good? And the voice acting is maybe the best voice acting I have ever heard in any fucking thing. Just the hay alone. Dude, the hay, but also the dad when he's like talking about the donut shop mm -hmm. and, and like, doesn't, don't cops run red lights? Yeah, but not your dad. You know, like that <laughs> when they're in the cop car. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. it's just so good. And the whole, like, boop, boop. Hey, I love you, dad. Yeah. You know, like that whole thing. Like it's just so genuine mm -hmm. it's yeah. yeah fuck the whole movie is that's also brilliant. something that i am of course hyped for yeah i'm a bit scared though yeah the i'm scared part? yeah the second yeah. part i'm like this is where you get funding and you overdo it mm -hmm. and i'm like every time yeah like, and, and i'm like but i don't want to compare it to the first one because i think and you don't have to no, no no but what i'm saying is that when stranger things the first season came out and then you got the second one people were like oh but it was like basically the same that's the point <laughs> yeah that like, is the point if they change it it's not the same show and yeah. you wouldn't enjoy it you would complain that it's something else mm -hmm. yeah. so it's it's difficult it's tricky we had someone come over who worked on spider-verse when we were at riot mm -hmm. and what they said was like why the style ended up being the way it was. Mm. It's like you had three teams, mm. all the different things. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, that's so <laughs> cool, like, though. <laughs> it, it is like, but how do you make that work? Yeah. Like, that's they, the they, coolest I, thing. They ended up with something amazing. Yeah. You know? But uh, what is his name? Dan O'Keefe or something like that? One of the guys that managed a lot of it, but he's, his style is. Yeah. So yeah. Good. All the artists just. Dude, uh, yeah. everyone that works on that shit. Yeah, I follow a bunch of them. And they're all. But the whole movie, you can just like pause dude, and you have the perfect like artwork. Robots. Like a lot of them worked on that stuff as mm. well. And it's yeah. just like, especially the third season. Yeah. Just like, my brain just. That's like, something I that I've, I've rewatched as well. 
Mm. Just recently, I, just want I, I mean, see the last one again, like the Joe Baru or whatever it's called, the dancing oh. siren, uh, the weird one. It's yeah. so good though. It's so dark. That's what I love it. Like the 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 story behind the story, the mm. like the story they're telling is like just so dark. Like yeah. It's, yeah. But even the simple ones are so fucking good. Yeah. So now I, I had I did a um, like I got to do my version of Cthulhu as a oh, tattoo. Yeah, I saw, I saw. So in preparation for that, I yeah. saw there's a Cthulhu ish yeah, type yeah, episode the, the in season where, three. Yeah. So yeah. I just wanted to see that, and after I saw that, oh, I was hooked. So well, like, I just yeah. I had to watch the, With <laughs> the rest the spiders, of the right? The yeah. It's iron. so creepy and nasty, yeah. but. Really, doesn't and there's ends, not a lot so, happening in there, but, but it then it's really dark as well. Like it just builds and builds, and then bah, the reveal mm. of but that the that beast. pressure is really good. Like yes. when he kind of it's reads, like, fades you. Yeah, it's so great. Yeah, so that inspired a lot. So even if you see the tattoo, the temple that he breaks out of is mm. the temple from that episode. Mm -hmm. Like. Okay. Just incorporated it. Fucking yeah. tracer. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> yeah. Um, are we done? Are, yeah. Do we have any more? Any closing words, Ati? Thank you for having me. Fuck you, dude. No, <laughs> no thank no you. No beating, no beatboxing. No, no beatboxing, no, no nothing. <laughs> no, yeah. No, it's been an absolute honor and pleasure yeah, to dude. have you, thank man. Thank you so much for joining. And uh, given us uh, a Monday of not having to think about what to talk about. Oh, uh, yeah. Which is I can't thank you enough <laughs> for that. I, I have too much going on in life for me to think out an episode. So and this also, was yeah. Really appreciate it. <laughs> and giving everybody out there somebody else to listen to apart from these two assholes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And still, we managed to fill out 80% of the show. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Like any asshole. <laughs> like, like There's always the assholes room. that we are. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> for anyone who wants to reach us, like, we will put put all the the, the socials uh, on the the episode description so make sure to check that we will also post on all the social media channels but we all know how algorithms work you won't see any of it so <laughs> check the episode description on the app you're using <laughs> yes and have a great fucking week yeah, yeah. that's all folks Bye. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> <Paul James. Woo! laughs>